lots of places, found interesting faces, whether young or old, no one left out in the cold. Take a long look around in places of renown, no one would wear a frown. And everybody got on down, sang a song or played along. The people that we meet came right up off the street. With a song and a dance, we gave everyone a chance. Yeah, we gave everyone a chance. see you when you get there, meet you when you get there, we really care and want to share some time with you, we'll meet you and greet you, we don't want to compete, we're like a team, sometimes a dream come true, everybody gets a chance to do what they really want to do, yeah, what they really want to do. people i'm doing everything now how's it going happy tuesday how are you all all right got to goblin all right tom all right wes all right pete all right jack all right god it's going fucking quick today wait a second consumable pete just used ad permitted term ginger cunt is that about me or is that about prince harry i'm not sure all right bobby needs all right, Joe New, Joe New. All right, Big Ango, and Joe. Don't know. All right, Sam. All right, Tom. All right, Stephen Scodares. All right, Jack. All right, Urban Munch. How are you all? You all good? Ginger cunt. Yeah, you can say ginger cunt. You can say ginger cunt with multiple T's. That's what uh, what our Lee. Sorry, I called him Pete. I don't know why I did that. Well, that's what consumable Lee just added to the allowed terms list on uh, on Twitch. God bless you. Thank you very much, Lee. Much appreciated. Uh, are we all well? Is everybody happy? What's in the news? I'm not doing the news segment anymore. Uh, I've got nothing to talk about. I've had a really, really unremarkable week, to be honest. Um, nothing here. Should we get on with the shows? All good? Going grand? That's what I like to hear, Jack. Tell me some of this intro. Come on. What what has happened? Because I've had such a boring week. What is, what's happened in your life um, that has been interested? Interesting, rather. Um, any walrus wanks? No, just the just the one. I think not that anybody's seen, but I, mean, I imagine people are keeping quite a close eye. Um, you look like a shit alley G. Okay, I'll take that. It's a new jacket. You're not keen. Uh, man died outside work. That's horrible. Sorry to hear that. Took a shit. Lost my voice. Shit the bed last night. Got the light outside fixed. This is fucking awful. <laughs> Come on, somebody! Somebody's done something. Somebody, what have we got? Two hundred odd people watching. Somebody has done something, right? Dry January going well. Well, that's good. That's really good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, wanking a bong, all good. Uh, work, had some pasta. <laughs> Fucking hell, January shit, isn't it? 
Uh, my girlfriend just told me she loved me for the first time. Oliver, that's that's nice. Can we get a round of applause for Oliver in the chat who has found love? Congratulations. Are you well? I thought you were. I'm fine, Dantis de Boggan. Welcome. First time chat. Hell of a way to kick things off there. Um, made an egg sandwich. Delicious. Very nice. Uh, my platelets have gone up to 50 from 8. Still shipping on shit. Well, that's that's good news. I'm, I'm glad it's going the right direction. Congratulations. Uh, the the wife left me. No, you haven't got a wife, Emmett. I know that. Uh, money in the bank's in London. Yep, yeah, that's not happening yet, but that's a thing that's happening. That's something to look forward to in, what is it, June or something? Um, wedding food tasting tomorrow. That's that'll be nice. That'll be really nice. That's that's grand. Congratulations. Um, weather's awful. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the rumble. Yeah, the rumble's happening, but it's not this week. I've got nothing to talk about. I'm I'm killing time there. I'm gonna sit here for like twenty minutes as I always do. I can't just read donations. I need to tell you something. What's been happening? Something's happened in my life. Surely. Uh. I showed a guy my boobs. That's nice. Merry Midnight. Uh, well done on that. Um, I've been having dreams, and I've got I've got, oh, I've got a recurring dream. Everybody loves hearing about dreams. It's not about a girl who appeared to me, and then I'm going to draw a guy on British TV. Um, it is. Uh, I've got a dream that I keep having where I can taste what I see. So if I was looking at uh, that glass of water in front of me, if I was doing that, I could taste the water, and it keeps happening. Have we got anyone in the chat uh, who knows about dreams? If I look, if I look at a cake, I can taste cake, and it's so vivid. It's because I've been taking these sleeping tablets that I've I've ordered off a dodgy website. What does water taste like, Adam? It tastes like water. It does have a flavour. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. You water does have a taste. That's ridiculous, especially tap water, because you can taste the what do they put in it? Not chlorine. What's the thing? Fluoride. You can taste the fluoride. Um, any wet dreams, Adam? No, nope, no wet dreams. I've never had a wet dream. Never in my life have I had a wet dream. I remember that being a big part of like middle school. It's like, right, this thing might happen to you where you wake up and you're a little bit sticky. I've never had it. Never in my life. So I don't know. Anybody, uh, same, uh, Lee's the same. Never had one. Uh, makes a therapist want a session book. No, because it's not, it's not troubling me. The, the dreams aren't troubling me. They're generally quite pleasant. Just look at butts. I don't. Um, what about sexy dreams? I've had sexy dreams before. I've, 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 I've had sexy dreams, but never of the sticky, wet variety. Anyway, if you want to subscribe and support great banter like this, uh, you can do so for free. It doesn't cost you a penny if you've got an Amazon Prime subscription. Somebody's going to be there with a link in a second. Come on, quick. There he is, Stephen. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to do that, that's free, don't cost you a penny, or you can spend a fiver to do it, much appreciated, thank you for your support, because uh, CPM's fucking shit in January, I'll tell you what, dreadful, uh, right, here we go, let's let's see where we're starting from, down here, Alex Takeover, hello Adam, hope everything is good, everything is grand, unremarkable but grand, it, you know what, boring is sometimes good, isn't it, boring sometimes good, it's better than being bad, I'd rather it be boring than bad. So there you go. Always look on the bright side of life, etc. Uh, I'm so tired today. Don't know why, but I'm excited as always for a Laura Laura cunt. Oh, you, you don't know why you're tired? Not you don't. You know, I, I'll tell you why you're excited for a, an episode of See You Next Tuesday because we've got the Cook Report. Uh, we've got what else? I I marry Harry. I want to marry Harry. It's an American show. We're doing an American show, but it's got a British twist. It's very much in the news right now. Trying to get in all that search traffic, obviously. We've got the Wheel of Fortune uh, episode. It's uh, one with... I can't remember who it is. I think it's Bradley Walsh. Is it? I can't remember who it is. I think it's Bradley Walsh. It's a British one. And we've got Kay cooking a singular chicken nugget. It's the fucking funniest thing. I don't even I don't even think it's going to be that bad. The picture didn't look dreadful. The picture didn't look dreadful in the thumbnail. Um but it's it's fucking brilliant. She's literally cooking one chicken nugget. And I don't know why I've not watched it. Next week if I remember, which I probably won't, we are going to be watching uh Kay's Q&A. She did a Q&A when she reached 100,000 subscribers. It was about a year ago. And we're going to watch all 45 minutes of that. Because I watched the first five minutes today. And it's fucking unintentional comedy gold. As you would expect. So tune into that. There's a big old plug for next week. It's all happening today on See You Next Tuesday. And that is why you're excited. Um, Alex, thank you. Cheers.
Uh, Joe New, Joe New, thank you very much for the resub. Three months. Ryan, thank you for 24 months. Oliver B. Webb, hello, Treacle. Home for a couple of weeks before heading out around South America for a couple of months. Very nice, very nice. Buzzing that I'm actually getting to catch a stream live. Hope you and the chat are well. Bring on the ginger knobhead. Here I am. Say it before the chat says it, right? Uh, Jack J.D. Bradshaw, whose stream I am appearing on tomorrow. So, at 7 p.m., we are going live. We're going to play some Fall Guys. I've not downloaded it. We're going to watch a couple of our favorite British shows. The channel name is A Gamer Called Jack, I think. And it's all for charity. It's all for charity. So, if you want to come along um, after, after Jack and Owen's stream, um, we'll be there having a laugh. They promised to, to raid us as well. Uh, so come along. Uh, it, it sounds fantastic. It's going to be very fantastic, And it's all in aid of a brilliant charity, Mind. So we're doing it all for the f all for the fun of the fair. That's not what that means. We're doing it. It's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Uh, so I've picked a show. Jack's picked a show. And we're going to play Fall Guys. I'm, I'm not very good at Fall Guys. But I'll give it a college try, eh? How was that plug, Jack? Was that good? Ahoy hoy Adam, hope you're well mate. There's another day of making educational content look good and After Effects done, just in time for some good old cunt. Though I can't stick around for the full thing. I look forward to it and we'll catch the VOD later. Also looking forward to tomorrow, should be good crack. It will be good crack. It'll be great crack. The best thing is, I can do whatever the fuck I want, Jack, right? It's not on the Cultaholic channel. If I want to get my dick out, this is the hard sell, I can do that. I'm not getting banned, you're getting banned. You've invited on a loose cannon tomorrow uh so tune in to see me ruin fucking everything by getting my dick out and doing a big old wank but it's all for charity so nobody can complain <laughs> i'm gonna flash up the wanking walrus that's right i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not don't worry jack you've got nothing to worry about sorry i've had a bag of haribo i'm i'm buzzing at the moment i've had a bag of haribo and you know when you're at school you know when you're at school and oh you can't get drunk or do drugs or anything um Unless you live in Hull. Uh, you can't do any of that. So you just eat loads of sweets and get hyper. That's me right now. I'm buzzing. I'm off my tits. I'm bloody straws. Haribo straws. One Jason. 22, uh, 26 months is too many. Not true. Jason, keep them coming. Thank you very much, Jason. Cheers. Loopy Leo. All right, dickhead. Thank you. Cheers for two years. 24 months there. Classic Scott. Fitting that cunt's very own Ginger Prince is doing a Prince Harry show. What? Oh, fitting that Cunt's very own Ginger Prince is doing a Prince Harry show. He's saying that I am a Ginger Prince, even though I'm not Ginger in the slightest, and I'm doing a Prince Harry show. There you go. The uh, Prince Harry show is a recommendation from the absolutely excellent Dan Heppel. So if it all goes to shit, Dan, you might be watching right now. Sometimes he pops in. Sometimes he pops in. I don't know what his username is. Dan the Snick. We've got a Dan the Snick. Is that you? Dan the Snick? I don't know what his name is. I don't know what his name is. If it's shit, don't blame me. It's 45 minutes long, so it better not be. Dan, are you here? Uh, I am Dan Heppel. You are not Dan Heppel, Vile. I know you're not. Uh, Poison, thank you very much for the gifted sub to the wonderful Spud Gun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Alpine Escape, if there, if there's a Barry Moore's pool party, I think I'll pass, actually. If there is a Barry Moore... I, uh, you're referring to someone I said 11 minutes ago. I don't know what you're talking about. What? No Barry Moore tonight. No Barry Moore. Playing it safe, you know? Where's Bray? Hello, Adam. Can you sort out Wrestling Fan 87? He still hasn't milked my prostate. Wrestling Fan 87? What the fuck's up with that? I don't understand why you're being so, uh... So unreasonable. Oh, I'll see you when you get there. A.K.A. there in the remission song. I got it. Wrestling Fan 87... Uh, I know you're in the chat right now, uh, and I don't really know what's what, what's what's going on. I, I see a lot of drama. I don't tend to follow any of it at all. Um, but Wes kindly kindly made the offer that you could you could you could milk his prostate, and um, you, you you don't seem to want to want to do that. So what's going on? Uh, what's going on? What's going on here? Is this is this why there's so much animosity? Is this all to do with your um? Your hesitance. It, yeah, exactly. It's not like he's lend a hand, just a finger or two. 
So let us know. Wrestling fan, he, <laughs> he says, okay, you win. It's happening. It's happening. It's a feel-good cunt moment before we even started the fucking shows. Ralph Red, thank you very much for the resub. Mia, thank you very much for the resub. Toby D, 11 months of cunt, pure bliss. Thank you very much. It says 12 months on my screen there, Toby. Thank you for a year. Jason, thank you very much. All right, big dick leader. Thank you very much. Cheers. Much appreciated. Uh, 18 months there, Jason. Cheers. Poison. Hello, Adam. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a fine day. It's been all right. It's been all right. It's been pretty productive. Um, got things done. It's all grand. Yeah. Wes Brace. Show us your jacket, lad. I thought I clicked on a Danny Dyer stream by accident. I'm trying to appear young. I'm 34 years old. You don't need to call me out. You don't need to call me out on it. It's a bit big, actually. It's one size too big. It's uh, it's just it's just a jacket. It's a uh, it's the first uh, tracksuit jacket that I've ever bought, uh, and there it is. It's a nice jacket, all right? Where's Danny Dyer stream? Uh, Arkham, all right, you sexy cunt. All right, you sexy cunt. Thank you very much, Kieran. Thank you very much. Evening, Adam. Evening to you too, Kieran. Uh, Margaret Thatcher is dead. Honk honk. There's nothing I love more in these cold, dark times than a nice, warm cunt. Thank you very much. Welcome to see you next Tuesday. Project Steve, thank you very much for eight months. Bearded Helmet, thank you very much for nine months. All right, leader, nothing like a cunt in a cold January. I couldn't agree more. Thank you very much, Bearded Helmet. Poison, thank you ever so much for the five gifted subs. Bless you, and congratulations to Fluffy Ruffs, Kimpler, Whiskers is Cat, Rob, and Magnus 50,000. The 50th thousand, Magnus. Cheers, Poison, thank you very much. That's very, very generous of you. Cheers. Speedy Brandon, all right? Eventful seven months. Missed only a few streams and got my partner, Funky Pigeon, into wrestling. AEW and these cunt streams. Looking forward to many more cunts with cunt master, Adam. Thank you very much. Cheers. And well done, Funky Pigeon, uh, for getting into wrestling. Why, why you separated it? You separated it. You, you, I got into wrestling, AEW, and these cunt streams. You, you, you were struggling for a third, weren't you? Weren't you? So you said, oh, I got into wrestling and AEW. Should have said sports entertainment. And anyway, uh, Joel, oh joy, you're back. When are you going to do the following? A K's recipe stream. Want to see you eat something yummers? Well, Fraser's going to pop over at the end of the month when I've had my ceiling finally fixed and we're going to make some stuff. I can't promise it. I don't really want to make something fucking shit because it's easy to make something shit, isn't it? It's really easy. All I've got to do is like chuck a load of juice on some beans and a single undercooked sausage that's there's no joy in that i'm gonna try and make a good meal and i'm gonna make you eat all of your words all right uh stuart going back to your dream looked it up and apparently dreaming of tasting food can represent your need for greater fulfillment in what you're doing oh i don't believe any of the dream analysis thing i think it's all i think it's all nonsense isn't it surely surely not every dream has some meaning it's just a, it's a you know what it is? You know what it is? It's because I put my fingers in a glass of squash, smelled it, and I think that's just got in my head. I think that's all it is. Uh, Joey, happy new year, Adam. Happy new year to you too. Thank you very much, J-O-E. Fucking hell. Here we go. It's somebody that we've not seen in a while. Um, Big George Barrios is back. I, ca I cannot, cannot believe it. Um... Guess who's back? Ha 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 ha! Big, big, strokey nonce. Oh, ding dong. Spicy, spicy, baby, baby. Gabba wee, gabba, gabba wee. It's your boy with the forehead back at it like a spice addict. That's Asda Price. Slap your ass. Rest in peace, Paul Daniels and Abu Hamza Al <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Good to see you back. He is back. He's back. George Barrios. You can't even go, you can't even make the five head joke with with George Barrios. It's unlike anything I've seen before, and I feel bad. We shouldn't insult each other's appearances, should we? It's not on. We, you can't you can't help you cannot help the way you look. But <laughs> but. This is taking the piss. That is never in my life. Never in my life have I seen. It's what? 45% of his head. And he doesn't have a receding hairline. He's not like me. 
is not like me. He's not got a receding hairline. That is all forehead. That man actually has a really healthy hairline, considering his age especially. Well done, George Barrios. You just have to look quite far up to see it. Anyway, George Barrios. Enough. Welcome back, George. Cheers. Stephen Dawson has donated a quid as well. Hello, Adam. There's tons of episodes of House of Games on YouTube that aren't on the iPlayer. Please give the people what they want. Also, shout out to all the beautiful Babe Station babes on screen. All the best. Oh, that's, that's a really nice message. I still think they're too new. Let me Leave it with me, right? Leave it with me. And I actually work because I really want to do House of Games. I think House of Games is a brilliant show. I love it. I think it's just a really nice show as well. None of the banter feels forced. It's just it's just a pleasant way to spend half an hour. Might do it on Chatterbait. Maybe. El Presidente. Hello, Ginger Balding Pachisi. Hello, El Presidente. I don't know what you look like, uh, but I hope you're well, I guess. NGT. It's nonce o'clock. Miss last week's leader had the shits. Also, we all need to chip in and hire a hitman to kill Vince. It's what's best. Thank you very much, NGT. Cheers for the input there. Very nice. Uh, Reesey boy, new year and a new job's worth boss cunt. And a new job's worth boss cunt. New job's worth. I could, this could have done with some more pug punctuation here. And a new job's job's worth, I assume you mean. What, uh, boss cunt. I don't know what you mean. Reesey, thank you. Analysis indeed, Wes. Arkham, just some bits to say, hey, consumable Lee. Hey, Lee from Arkham. Thank you, Arkham. If you, think, if you think 34 is bad, wait until you hit 35. You want to be 34 again. I'm sure, well, I, I get that every year. I get that every year. I feel, I feel like a 21-year-old. See the jacket? I'm young, I'm hip, I'm trendy, I'm with it. One, thanks for the cameo from Beth Wank Chops. I tried thanking you on Instagram, but no reply. I get a lot of messages on Instagram. I'm very, very sorry if I missed you. Uh, but my, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Cameo? No. Coldolic.com slash cameo. Uh, much appreciated. One. That's just all it says. One is the username. Uh, the Nick Jordan. Thank you very much for the 33 months. Britain Wolf. Thank you for 21 months. Jorge. Hello, old man Adam. Would you be willing to recreate Aunt Myra's party cheese salad on cunt with Fraser. Will cooking with Fraser just be you supervising? Hashtag cooking with Fraser. Hashtag robot wars with Jack. Uh, no, no, no I, I, I feel like Fraser's probably quite a good cook. He seems the sort, doesn't he? He seems the sort. Uh, I don't know what Aunt Myra's... That's not a Myra Hindley thing, is it? I, I, I'll choose the meal. We'll, well, we'll choose it together. No, no, I'm not cooking Aunt Myra's party cheese salad. Firm Dan Shake, thank you very much. Happy seven month anniversary, leader. That's a fantastic haircut. Thank you. I found a new barber's. It's just down the road from me. Uh, and they do the lot. I have my ears blasted with the, uh, like, blowtorch thing. Was it a blowtorch? It, it didn't hold a blowtorch to my ear. He was lighting something. It might have been a lighter. But yeah, no ear hair anymore, as you can see. Clean as a whistle. Dantis Toboggan, thank you very much. A brand new subscriber. Uh, YouTube Aunt Myra's party cheese. I'll have a look afterwards, Jorge. I don't know what you're on about. It wasn't a blowtorch. It wasn't a blow... It was not a Tory barber. It's not a Tory barber. It's a Turkish barber. It's the least Tory type of barber, isn't it? Surely. Arkham, George Barrios is all forehead with some hair. You're not wrong, Arkham. Poison, someone should advertise they're looking for a job on that forehead. Oh, come on, that's too far. How dare you? Aussie rules. Sometimes you feel like a cunt. Sometimes you don't. Almond Joy has nuts. Mounds don't. What? What are you on about? What are, you, what are you on about? That wasn't a barber's, Adam. That was just some fella on the corner. No, it wasn't. They've got signage, Wes. They've got POS. What are you on about? It's an American ad. Apparently, I don't get it. Uh, Almond Joy. Al Would you say Almond Joy or Almond Joy? Almond Joy has nuts. Mounds don't. What's Mounds? Is Mounds another one? Is that its competitor? Almond, almond, Al almond. Yeah, two. Uh, no, but there's only one L. Al, you'd say Al Sharpton, Al Gore. Anyway, anyway. Stop saying rest in peace, as Abu Hamza. Uh, WWE probably announced they've been sold on George Barrios's forehead. <laughs> right, that's enough. That's enough of the the Barrios bashing. He's a lovely guy, I assume. There's only one D and Adam. Yep. You. What, what's what's your point there, Steve? What's your, what's your, can I please request a review of Kay's merch line? Yeah, remind me when we get to Kay. We're kicking things off with the cook report. It's called What's in the Beef? What's in the Beef? Um, it's uh, 
about the IRA. So <laughs> keep kicking off with a fucking really light-hearted one here. Uh, a hugely profitable trade in a banned drug called clembuterol. Farmers began to use it to boost the weight and therefore the value of their beef cattle, but it poses a serious health risk. You might be thinking, Adam, that sounds really fucking boring. Just you wait. It's the Cook Report. He's the man with the biggest balls. His balls are bigger than George Barrios's forehead. Seriously, it all kicks off. So I've read, anyway. This is apparently a very good episode. I've not seen it, but if you like beef... If you like Clem, what was it called? Clem Buterol. Clem, uh, I've lost it already. Uh, Clem Buterol, which causes permanent heart damage and life-threatening illnesses. Uh, so the Cook Report is never boring. You're totally right. We've only actually done one episode of Cook Report, and it went down way better than I thought it would. It was the hot dog one where he's got a funny moustache. It's the funniest fucking thumbnail since Kay's singular chicken nugget. This one is apparently just as good, and it kicks off even more. If you thought Rogue Traders was full of drama, you need to watch more Cook Report. Cook Report is the, it's, it's the bollocks. It's the absolute bollocks. So, without further ado, and I'm very excited to do this transition, without further ado, welcome to See You Next Tuesday, and welcome to the Cook Report. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, right? That is courtesy of Jack Bradshaw. I've had that for about a month. Couldn't get it working. I think it worked tonight. Fantastic. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fucking so good? So good. Way too professional for see you next Tuesday. I agree. I agree. But thank you ever so much to Jack who put that together. Isn't it marvellous? Absolutely buzzing about it. That VT has given me a genuine semi. Right, Ash? See, Cartholic broke the bank making this intro. No, no, Jack did it. Bless Jack. Bless Jack. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Jack JD Bradshaw and NGT as well. When the fuck is Red Dead? It's not anytime soon, mate. Next Christmas. Uh, we need to see Jimmy Saddle. It's, it wasn't called that. It was, uh, can we watch Travelers Fighting and Bet on them? <laughs> no. Fuck off. Stop, you're pushing it. You're pushing it. I do like those videos, though. I do like those videos. I was watching a documentary. It's one on Netflix. It's really good. It's really interesting. No, we can't watch Travelers Fighting. No, we can't do that. Uh, Craig Stevenson, thank you very much to GY Goliath for this gifted sub. Congratulations, Craig Stevenson, uh, for the gifted sub. GY Goliath, thank you ever, ever so much. Can we watch some day-to-day? -day? No, because I can't add anything funnier than the day-to-day -day already is. That's the way it works. So, fingers crossed, this works now, because I didn't set my audio up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that playing? It's playing, it's playing. Here we go. Can I hear anything? Yes, I fucking can. Welcome to the Cook Report once again. Thank you very much, Jack. Cheers. Dr. Goblin, just before we start. We can see you've blown all the budget on that intro instead of a jacket outside of the teen section in Primark. You fucking... Fuck off. It's a nice jacket. The collar's a bit big. I don't like the collar. I need to sort the audio out here. It's very, very quiet for me. Whoa. That's what we're seeing tonight. Proper fighting, all right? Chris, I'm not reading the surname. I ruptured a disc which fragmented into my spinal cord. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Cheers. Less of that, please. Much appreciated. It's worse than cake, Samuel. It's worse. 
Can't hear. You should be able to hear. Look at that PC. Is that a... What was it called? A BBC Micro? Micron? What was it? You remember the, the, the PC that you had in school? It looks like it, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know enough about operating systems. It's a Spectrum. It's a Spectrum, apparently. Seth saying that with complete confidence. Love a BBC. Looks like normal meat. What's in the beef? <clears throat> what has this got to do with the IRA? Wait and see, Emmett. Wait and see. Angel Dust! Honestly, the production value and everything, I've, I feel like Chris Morris legit um, borrowed a lot of its production value for, uh, for um, Brass Eye. A lot of the graphics and everything. Are you listening to Robots? No audio here. People are saying no audio. Are you getting no audio? Is that true? Too quiet. I can I'll go and boost the audio up. You're fine? No? Audio fine for me? No audio. Sound it well, I know it's paused, Lee. I know it's paused. I've turned it up a little bit. Is it because it's on mono? I don't think it is. I I Uh Desktop Audio Mono. See if that works. It's outrageously quiet. What's going on? Why is it so quiet? Is my PC fucked? I fucked it now. Just a second. Let's go back to the... Uh... It was fine before, and now I've fucked it. I think it's pulling from one track on stereo, but it's pulling from a quiet track. So is there a way... Of me doing something about that. Do I move the slider to the right or the left? But is I've the fucking done. I've fucking done it. Look at that. PC Wiz here. Learned that on a BBC Micro. Come on, we're on. Looking hard enough. Just a second. Clen Bluterol. Buterol, sorry, would be a good NXT wrestler name. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Thank you very much, Ross. Cheers. Rikishi, I dislocated my right shoulder. Okay, Rikishi. Are you quoting from the uh the old don't try this at home thing. I think that's what's going on. I think, maybe. Bobby. All right, Shagger, how are we? Doing a bit of freelancing this evening. What sort of bunts is it? 30 quid an hour. 30 quid an hour to write blogs and watch this beef about beef. Bunts and burner. Nice little earner. Hence the bunts. Thank you very much, Bobby. Thank you very much. Writing blogs. You're writing blogs and watching the beef. No. What's in the beef? We've seen this, but now you can hear it too. I think the audio is about right there. I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck with it. I'm not gonna fuck with it. Dealing in clenbuterol, or angel dust as it's called, seems surrounded by. Just violence, watch this scrap again. As we found during a six month Europe wide investigation. Mainland Britain and a farmer who doesn't do what a worrying minority of his fellow farmers in Europe now routinely do add clenbuterol to the feed to make cattle produce extra lean meat and extra profit on the mainland there have been no prosecution that looks fucking horrible doesn't it and no proof of contaminated beef but is this because the government chooses not to look for the problem? Michael Sorry, Luke Robb there. Is that him from Blackpool Pleasure Beach? It, it, that bloke really did look like uh, JR. He really did. Good shout. Good yeah, shout. Advises the major supermarkets. It's a huge problem. Uh, it's rather like cocaine uh, dealing and, and trading. Uh, very, very dangerous, but remarkably difficult to stop. But in terms of the United Kingdom, I believe that the mechanisms we've got in place here are as tight as we can reasonably make them at this stage, but we must continue to watch the space. Indeed we must. 
This is beef being tested for clenbuterol contamination. 50% of British beef comes from just, Ireland. I've just turned it up a touch there for you. And Southern Fod Ireland fairy. publicly recognises it has a major clenbuterol problem. In the north, a recent spot check at 40 farms suspected by the Agriculture Department of using clenbuterol led to the prosecution of seven farmers. Just stick with it. It gets in good, all right? I know it's a bit sciencey at the moment. ox liver from a Belfast supermarket which shares a supplier with Tesco and Gateway. It tested clenbuterol positive. Outrageous. In the supermarkets. And we found out it how is the same a dude. Lee. farmer could get clenbuterol delivered for use in England. No, what we're looking for isn't the pure clenbuterol, it's the, the cut stuff. We ordered by phone from Ireland. <laughs> And five kilos <laughs> from a phone box. By Parcel Express. We took the consignment to Sir Richard Body, MP. For ten years, he was chairman of the Commons Select Committee on Agriculture. Sir Richard, yes. He wasn't surprised. All the way from what does it look like? Is it a liquid? Oh, it's powder. Don't breathe the stuff in. This is what they call the angel dust. This is the angel dust. The angel dust. This is. As you can see, packed and labelled. Yes. So what does that tell you? Well, it confirms. Let's be honest. A few years back, Tesco sold horse meat as beef. How bad can this be? Both are bad. Both are bad. Two wrongs don't make a right, NGT. However, the horse meat didn't have Clem Booter roll or whatever it is in it. It's dangerous stuff. Anyone eating horse before? Lots of countries eat horse. You can't get it here. Well, you can in Tesco, Iceland. The horse meat was all right. I probably did have some. I probably did have some uh, during that time. I imagine so. Can get raw horse in Japan. Horse meat was fucking great. I imagine it was quite tasty. I've tried a few weird animals. They're not weird. Uh, ostrich, I've tried. I've tried either alligator or crocodile. I think it was crocodile. Aren't you our horse expert? You ate horse cum. Yeah, uh, that, thank you. Back to back there. Horse cum jokes from TJD and Ark. Uh, sorry, NGT. Arkham. Never knowingly tried horse, but the meat is supposedly very high in protein. There you go. See? This is different. This will fuck you up. All right? What uh, some of us have been saying is that... Uh, it's yeah, I've tried kangaroo. Spud gun. And farmers are being tempted to use it. Uh, it's good economics, I regret to say. But farmers are under enormous pressure at the moment to produce... I didn't drink horse gum because I didn't swallow. I used it as mouthwash at it's best. It's much easier to produce meat with this drug and cheaper. And it's more profitable, but it's also potentially dangerous for those who unwittingly eat it. Even if there's a small amount of drug present, people could become ill as a result of allergic reaction to it. But as the amount goes up, our concern is with pregnant women. They may well faint and feel very ill. It could have serious effects on the baby. Serious the shit. See? He doesn't look like me. I knew it. As soon as he fucking popped up, I knew it. I knew you would make... Ozzy, uh, haven't you had Burger King before? They got caught serving horse once, did they? Well, I hope he paid. <laughs> Get it? Like, he's a customer. Uh, yeah, I've had Burger King before. I'm sure I've eaten horse at some point or another. I'm sure I have. Doesn't bother me. Half Pint. I'm actually Comna Tims, but can't change my name on this fucking app. Welcome, Half Pint. Hi, Adam. Hope you're having a great week. You too, Comna. Nice to see you, mate. Nice to see you. With suspected or proven heart disease. And they could simply die as a result of the drug causing their heart to stop. What See, serious, so, but yeah, be sensible. Right? Nothing funny to say about that, eh? One beef animal was fed using clenbuterol, and another similar beast was not. This rather unappetizing beef chop is clenbuterol free. This thicker, leaner one was produced using clenbuterol. I know which one I'd eat. If, 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 if I saw that, if I saw that on the shelf, I'd be going straight for the clenbuterol. I can't say it. Clenbuterol. Clenbuterol. The housewife's eye and indeed the profiteer's pocket the drug itself they all look like that in the supermarket now you find anything unless you look for it uh, and uh, the fact of the matter is that this is not being taken seriously enough that the very few tests for this drug if the tests were carried out uh, if we really set our minds to it 
we could stamp on it and get rid of it. The Irish are trying to stamp on it. God bless him. In the south, the government says they found a serious problem, because they looked. In England, over the last year, there have been just 200 angel dust tests. In Southern Ireland, 6,500 in the past three months. Makes you think. The government regard the Clambutual problem as being an extremely serious development, and they have therefore decided to introduce an act which will provide for maximum penalties of £50,000 and or 10 years imprisonment. These are the type of penalties that would be applied in the case of offences relating to uh, serious narcotic drugs like cocaine and heroin. So the risks are high for Nicky Galvin of Waterford. He's the one on the right Stick with it. and an established Clenbuterol dealer. Can I do a cow impression? A yeah, probably. Transaction. Not going to do it. Galvin is about to transfer five one kilo boxes of clenbuterol into our car. No, that's the right stuff. We bought enough to that's treat 45 cattle and increase their market value by six and a half thousand pounds. A lot of money. We paid just 450 pounds. The analyst liquidized it Profit. and said it was the usual mixture illegally sold to farmers to feed their cattle. Two grams of clenbuterol mixed with a kilo of milk powder. We're handing this evidence to the police in Dublin. Garda. The Irish police are also interested in Dermot O'Keefe. I can't lift a cow. In his no. warehouse, police found clenbuterol worth millions of pounds on the black market. It was the biggest haul they'd ever made. Dermot O'Keefe said he didn't know where it had come from. But we know. Clenbuterol came from the Dutch veterinary products company Dofarma. Thank you very much, CJ. Cheers for the resub. And De Bruyne was reluctant. It's to the conf It's back to back confrontations all the time with uh, with with Roger Cook. Maybe because pronounced Gardi. No, it's not. Is it? Business. No, it's not. Eighty million pounds a year. Is this Clenbuterol? The label doesn't say it is. Our and would I rather be a cow or a horse? Uh, pure uh, Clenbuterol. So why is it called something else? Cow, probably. Have to import it in... More uh, chilled out on. lifestyle. Nobody's trying to ride you. Here we go. Here we go. He'd been warned De Bruyne had a temper. And he lost it. Whoa. Leave that alone. Hey. Heard a glass smash there. Holy fucking shit. Look at that. He did some fucking damage there, didn't he? Garda is correct. Thank you, CM Rooney. Was I Garda? Well, you've got the little um, accent on the eye. I'm not sure. I think I was saying it right. That is pricey. All right. Back in the day. Now even. Cost more than an iPhone, I'll tell you that much. The brine reduced to rubble, a £40,000 camera. 40 grand! He called the police himself, but now faces charges of assault and criminal damage. <laughs> I fucking love that they just keep piling it on. <laughs> All this shit he broke. 40 grand! Small beer compared to the claim. <laughs> yeah, it's still going! More! Facing. More! There, he was playing for very high stakes. <laughs> the worldwide trade in beef comes from 1.28 billion beef animals. You're not talking about a small industry here. You're talking about a vast four-legged industry. He, he sat himself for some <laughs> bizarre reason in front of a picture of Paul McCartney there. I th I'm pretty sure that's Paul McCartney, isn't You're it? Talking Sorry. about a vast four-legged industry. The Dutch police are not alone. Their counterparts in Ireland, Italy, France, Belgium and Spain are all trying to stem a rising tide of clenbuterol. Anything that can shave the costs of that vast multi-billion billion pound industry every year must be an incentive for corruption, for fraud, for law Have a scrap. Come on, we don't want to even talk. Oh, here we go. Yeah, thank you. In Spain, more arrests for clenbuterol dealing. Here, the authorities say that thousands of people have been poisoned. Hundreds have been hospitalized. 
profit-hungry farmers have been overdosing their cattle so that clenbuterol <laughs> residues occur not only in the liver where they're most likely to gather but also in the meat itself they did the shittiest job <laughs> of covering their faces there the absolute shittiest job moo donated a pound moo 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 said adam all right you got your cow impression thank you cheers what is clenbuterol? I can't say it. Clenbuterol supposed to do? Uh, I, it looked like it made the meat more lean, but also fucks you up. Comna, this chat is full of <laughs> cheerful cunts tonight. Big fan. We got a lot of Comna Tims in tonight, I believe. Uh, beef. <laughs> it's boneless. Cheers. Thank you. Well oiled beef hooked. What? Well oiled beef. <laughs> well, I'll be fucked. It's good. Well done, Ash. Well done. In the first Sucklet. place, the problem of clenbuterol is widespread. Rob the Fox, thanks for the gifted sub to Moo. It's impossible for the Fucking consumer hell. to avoid the danger. They cannot detect in advance which meat is contaminated. It's a very worrying problem from the health point of view because of the serious effects on people who are already suffering from another medical complaint. This is Gabriel Palomo, the uncrowned king of Clenbuterol. Michael Winner, I think. Palomo and his son plan to take over from the Dutchman De Bruyne and turn their company Biopal into Europe's biggest supplier. This is YouTube. Read about this. This is going to be good. Big buyer from England. Gabriel Palomo ignores the human cost, and that says Spanish victim Maria Martin is appalling. This is criminal, because when an addict chooses to take drugs, he does so voluntarily. We've been involuntarily poisoned for profit, and God knows what the long-term consequences of the stuff are. There are no problems. We are for, but we are for now in the chemical name. So how, then, do you how do you tell? Very Got good. a moustache. So fools the customers, does it? You can get through customs with... Yes, yes, that is, we had not any problem because we put the chemical name. The feeling was just like a heart attack. Something was happening to me that I did not understand. It was horrible, a terrible pain that went on for days. Can you get it into Britain? Can you export to Britain under the name for us? Uh, we can, we can. I had a terrible headache and I was dizzy, and I had tremors in my hands and legs, and my face distorted without me wanting it to. Oh. Were you frightened? <laughs> See, yes, I was frightened. And Yet the manufacturer would supply I fucking as love much Roger as 25 Cook. kilos of pure clenbuterol a month. Maximum Young Miller Band. <laughs> uh, NGT, wait, so have I heard that right? If you don't overdose the cows, it only shows up in the liver. Well, don't eat the fucking liver then, and it's win-win. I'm no expert, NGT. I'm assuming it's quite dangerous. Uh, what a tosser. Thank you very much for the gift. I just wanted to see the fights, to be honest, uh, NGT. Uh, what a tosser. Thank you for the gifted sub too. Beef curtains. Very good. Thank you. NGT. Long-term consequences. The cows being killed for meat. Hoof-hearted. Hoof-hearted. That's good. Hoof-hearted. Yeah, that's good. Uh, mascot as well. Thank you very much for the resub. Cheers. Thank you one and all. Uh, Comna, I won't lie. I've missed the start of this stream and I have no clue what the fuck's going on. These people are selling a chemical which you put in cow food, cow feed, the, the food that cows eat and it makes the meat look and perhaps taste nicer. I'm not sure about taste. It makes it look nicer. That's for sure. More of it and it kills you. All right. Patrice, thank you very much for seven months. NGT. You want to see the fights, but won't watch travellers fighting. Different, isn't it? It's different, all right? Wembley, hey, leader, do we really need a child voice actor for a dub about what he's saying? It reminds me of the different voiceovers for points of view. Oh, fuck. We should watch points of view sometime. We should watch points of view. You ever seen the uh, Adam and Joe bit about points of view? Fucking brilliant. Emily the Witch, thank you very much. for. We got a raid in. Welcome, Emily the Witch Heads, to the stream. Uh, hopefully you're a fan of Roger Cook reports. <laughs> I know everybody is. Everybody is. Why wouldn't you want to be here? 25 maximum. That's per month. 50 kilos per month, no more. Welcome, because Raiders, indeed. One reactor where we made the chlorination is... Because it's a difficult process. Yes. No, it's not so difficult. It's complicated. The yield is too low. 
but there are many steps. And the, what is the purity of, of the product you produce? Hi, Emily. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. You like the cook report? For the baby's sake. My heart rate was 150 beats a minute. The baby's was 190. That baby's got a hell of a head of hair, hasn't it? Heart attack. Even the doctors didn't know what so was wrong. So does she, wrong. to be fair. They thought they might have to do an emergency caesarean to save his life. The Palomos gave us a sample. It proved 99% pure. Gentlemen, I have some news for you. I am a television reporter. <laughs> Everything you have just said has been recorded on videotape, and this evidence will be passed to the police in Barcelona. <laughs> I am a television reporter. Uh -huh. you have yeah. a television? Everything that you have just said has been recorded uh -huh. on tape and will be passed to the police in Barcelona. Because what you're offering to do is illegal. He's a journalist! They are shitting it. He's so fucking good. He's so good. Fight. Do a fight. And as promised, this week we did pass our evidence to the Spanish police, who now say they're dealing with the biggest clenbuterol fish they've ever hooked. That, that you will pass for the... I will pass this tape and the other evidence to the police in Barcelona. Fearless. The best. I'm afraid, gentlemen, greed has got the better of you. <laughs> and, <it's green. laughs> and he gave him a talking down. Love it. Joe Online, thank you for the gifted sub to Emily the Witch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clem Blue Clem Buterol. Why can I say it? Clem Buterol is a PED. It boosts the metabolism so you burn fat and gain muscle faster without the shrinky balls, extra hairy side effects of steroids. So bodybuilders use it. I knew I'd heard it before. I knew I'd heard it before. I think I mentioned that in one of the true crime things. I think uh, I think I was in one of the scripts for that. Thank you, Wicked. Cheers. Driving the market in Ireland. And that includes Spanish imports. Arkham, he does not have big balls. He has balls made of pure... Big balls made of pure steel. He fucking does. He's the best. He's a lecturer now. Imagine him being your teacher. Told us how much money there was to be made. We don't hand in an assignment. About Humiliated in front of the whole class. And south of the border are using angel dust. It's really big business. I'm turning over hundred thousand pounds worth of stuff a week, and the big boys imported are making millions. Don't let anybody kid you. There isn't a problem. The problem runs across the border and into Northern Ireland. The British government has increased the penalties for those caught dealing in clenbuterol but they've not been increased as much as they have been in the South. See you in a bit, Emily. Thank you for the raid again. I know from some of the people who have been caught and, and, and have been convicted, and the records of those people, that they're up to their eyes in terrorist organisations. So I wouldn't be surprised if the terrorist organisations themselves are virtually controlling the trade in clenbuterol. Here in Northern Ireland, whether the IRA controls clenbuterol or not, and there's no suggestion that those in this program have terrorist connections, there is no doubt the trade is booming. In England, Scotland and Wales, there were just 200 clenbuterol tests in the past year, all negative. But in Ulster, ministry vets have carried out 1,300 tests with 78... But in Ulster... It's going to sound like a stupid question. What's he testing there? What's in that little vial? Where's he got that from? Because he didn't go near the knob, did he? Comna. Imagine this. Roger Cook, Michael Moore and Louis Theroux team up. The most confu confusing journalistic moral integrity <laughs> ever. I'm not sure about that. Com I'm not in Michael Moore's case, especially. Uh, I, 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 I like some of Michael Moore's films. I think they're very dramatic. Um, Cluey, thank you very much. Maria, woohoo. Indeed, woohoo. Thank you. Poison, thank you for the gifted sub to Emmett. Comna, you've not done last week's homework. This is being filmed and I'm taking this to the headmaster. Laziness has let you down this time. He's so good. Thank you, Comna. NGT, Adam, it's a cow. It doesn't have a penis. Cows have penis. Bulls. But, but a bull is just a boy cow, isn't it? Was that not a boy cow? I can't... If it doesn't have horns, is it a girl? Are all cows girls? Fucking hell. Have I emb this, is, this is one of those me really embarrassing myself bits, isn't it? There's no, yeah, there's a, uh, there's no coming back from this, really. A bull is a type of cow, correct? To be fair, I didn't know that either. Thank Alpine Escape, you're my new favourite. 
A bull is a type of cow. Of course it is. Of course it is. Goofy's not a cow. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> bull is male cow. Thank you. This is what I'm saying. The types of cattle. Wow. Wait. A cow is a cow, a bull in a bull. You meant is a... <laughs> Thick as fuck. <laughs> Bullocks are castrated male cows. That's irrelevant. They're fod fairy. I don't need extra confusion here. So Goofy is a bull then, right? If, you, if you're going to go along the line of Goofy being a cow, which he's not, he's a dog. A cow is a girl cow. All cows are girls. A bull is not a cow. Is that what people are saying? Just a second. Let me close my big picture of George Barrios. Is a bull a cow? No. Bull versus cow. What's the difference? Uh, right. <laughs> I'm so, oh, I've really fucked this. I've really, really embarrassed myself. Bulls and male cattle. Cattle is the collective, right? So is a bitch a dog? Give me another. Give me a comparison here. Look at the size of that cunt's horns. That is mad, isn't it? Should we just watch the walrus wanking off and be done with it? Purpose. Bulls are uh, morphological. A age, by definition, a cow is a mature female bovine that has given birth to at least one cow. Calf. So just a second, you can't be a cow until you've given birth. So now I, if I hadn't read that out on stream, I'd know more than you. I bet you didn't know that. You, a cow is a mature female bovine that has given birth to at least one calf. That means they are usually two years old or older when a heifer... Because there's too many words here. They've thrown bovine and heifer in there. So, yeah, now this is confusing. What do bulls... Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> the, the featured image. Thank you, by the way, to Kyle Glass for putting that together for us. I'll, I'll definitely connect with him on LinkedIn later. You, you you learn. You know, I feel like I derailed the stream here. You did a bit. You did. But it's okay because we're all learning. And I, th I really, that's what these See You Next Tuesday streams are all about. It's about it's a, it's a shared learning experience, isn't it? See, if I saw that, that cow there, I'd think that's a, that's a, that's a bloke. Not a human bloke. Just look at the face. But I, I don't... And quite a feminine face, perhaps, on the bull. But look at the horns and that thing hanging down there. So, uh, Hi, Leader. Five months. This is becoming a habit. It's, it's a habit worth keeping, George. Welcome, you furry freak. No, thank you, George. Cheers. I don't want to get into buffalo versus bite bison. I haven't got all night. Come on. Carried out 1300 so what's that? That's not piss, is it? It was too creamy. It was too creamy to be piss, wasn't it? All negative. But in Ulster, ministry vets have... Back to the point, question in hand, right? You think it's cum? It's not cum. It's not cum. It's a, it's a girl because it's a cow. Carried piss. out 1,300 piss. Piss. All right. with 78 positive results. These cattle belong to Ulster farmer Jonathan Sawyers. He was caught feeding clenbuterol to his animals and fined £2,500. Hello, Mr. Sawyers. My name's Roger Cook from Central Television. It's going to be good. I want to ask you about your use of clenbuterol, for which you were convicted only days ago. Why were you using it? Turn the engine off. Tell us why you were using it. He's going to metal right you him here. He's, he's, he's you know going to manoeuvre. He's off. He's off. by allowing it to get into the food chain, in the beef your animals <laughs> I thought he was going to make the slowest he He's come out. He didn't want to talk, but his father, who deals in animal feeds, certainly wanted to act. Come on. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Oh, what a dodge. Leave us alone. You you ask your in the wrong. You're in the wrong. Where the fart I should leave you. The police arrived and we'd packed up to leave. Fuck. Look at the windscreen! But that didn't stop Derek Sawyer's going for his shotgun and smashing the car windscreen. 
with a bullet or with a with a shotgun, the the barrel or something. The what's it called? The bit that you hold. Look at that. Sorry, let, we got to skip back and watch the the punch that Roger Cook so expertly dodged. It's right here. Boom! Didn't connect. Didn't connect. What a dodge. What a dodge. Hope the week is treating you well, leader. It is now, Daniel. Bloody is. Look what we're watching. Thank you very much, Daniel. Cheers. Leave us alone. You in the wrong. You're in the wrong. The police arrived and we'd packed up to leave, but that didn't stop Derek Sawyer's going for his shotgun and smashing the car windscreen. Fantastic. Ox liver the butt. Being That's it. For Thank you. Uterol. The food industry is so Ooh. concerned that there was an immediate demand when a Northern Ireland laboratory. Looks like me. Before you say it, that scientist bloke looks like me. All right, it'll pan up and he'll have a fucking shit hairline, and he looks like me. All right, so I got there first again. Announced a new do-it-yourself testing kit for clenbuterol in beef. Fifty kits a week are being sold to butchers, supermarkets, and public health analysts across Europe and in mainland Britain. Just Didn't because clenbuterol contaminated beef hasn't yet been found here doesn't mean it isn't here. The level of surveillance at customs and so on is very, very low. And I travel back and forth between the two countries regularly carrying products and they are never checked. <laughs> so I can assume that There's the hair. Is. There's my hairline. There it fucking is. He's missing the glasses. But other than that, it's spot on, isn't it? It's spot on. Where's this shitty fucking Primark kids section jacket? He looks like a fool. I thought Dr. Pachiti was your brother. He, this is this is my brother. This is Agriloid. Inspired name, you fuckers. Dressed like Mr. Bean. <laughs> so it's most probably, in your opinion, here on the mainland and being used? It is almost certainly being used here on the mainland. At what level, it would be difficult to ascertain. And, of course, there's always the dial a drug service. What we wanted was the cut clenbuterol. Yeah, 1%. Mr. Moore, yes. Roger Cook from Central Television. Yes, sir. How are you? I've come to... I'm very well, thank you. I've come to talk to you about clenbuterol. I wouldn't have a clue about it. You certainly would. You sent us some by post. So what? You sent us some to an address <laughs> post. in Wales by post. No, sir. You certainly did. Not. We have tape recordings of you uh, ringing back to check that the goods arrived. You know what clenbuterol does, don't you? Don't you worry. He boasted to us he was delivering to other farmers on the mainland. Now he was reticent, but of course he's only a small supplier. That's a getaway. In Manchester, we met the sales director of an Italian chemical company called Lusso Chimica. Anything we want on the invoice. Yes, I can even put the chemical name, which is not really clenbuterol, I don't correct. Mm -hmm. If you put the chemical name, it's three lines of names. He said he could supply, for illegal use, 30 kilos of pure clenbuterol. That's enough to artificially enlarge 135,000 steers. What's a steer? Male cow? No. When I got the payment, I don't care. You know, the most important thing is to get the money. <laughs> the EEC wants Britain to double its clenbuterol testing program, but critics say that's still not good enough. One, you can pay your kilos in advance. There are too many people who don't. A steer want isn't a cow, is it? Though, isn't a steer a, isn't a steer a bull or a male cow? Bulls have their balls. Steers have their balls locked off. And that's from Spud Gun, so you know it's true. It said it on the page. Where? What page? I'm not going. No, the cow page. No, I'm not going back to the cow page. I thought. <laughs> right. Okay. To find anything. Steer is it? Got it. To be I'm with you. Them, it's a very complicated and expensive business. Look at what you, as a, an investigative TV series, have to do. Put a lot of resources and a lot of time into finding this sort of evidence. The ministry will say off the. Not bookmarking the cow page. We haven't got the money. We haven't got the political will behind us. Even if we did clear the money to find that sort of thing. And what I fear is that unless we have major public pressure to sort out and clean up 
the public health inspection service to make sure that they're doing the job. They're wonderful people, but they're seriously under-resourced and they're not given the political work. January's not going to be cow month. The I'm not doing a cow month. The and the government remember all too well the impact of BSE and disease on the public. So are we scaremongering? I think if the public were to know what's going on, they would be appalled and they would be very frightened and they would demand action immediately. That's what we don't want to do, of course. We don't want to be accused of mounting a scare story. No, indeed. Uh, uh, but there will be a very big scare story if we don't do something about it soon. Was there Gun a big Gun scare story? In the heart of Northern Ireland. One of the big firms Spud Gun. Which helped supply us Was there a big scare story? You're old enough to remember this. Beef. Much reliance is placed upon the quality control checks done here by government vets. Dungannon supplies, amongst others, Tesco and Gateway. Spokesman Campbell Tweedy is also the chairman of the Northern Ireland Meat Exporters Association. The consumer can be totally confident. There was. Yeah, there the was. Now, the they control, the they use it as a medication for cows now. Every beast before the slaughtered can be treated an ox a cow. Birth, every movement prior to slaughter. I don't know. I don't, I've, I've slaughter, proven that I don't know. Processing no, I think an ox is a boy, isn't it? Cows are girls. No, I'm going to say no. That Northern Ireland is the cream of control anywhere in Europe. Unfortunately for Mr. Tweedy, we have bad news for him. As well as supplying major supermarket chains on the mainland, here in Ulster he also supplies stewards. We bought four samples of liver from various sources, including one from this very branch of stewards, and had them tested. It's not going to end well, is it? Stewards tested positive, with a level several times that which would be permitted if clenbuterol use in cattle feed was legal. Stewarts immediately removed all liver from sale and together with some of their beef had it tested. Fortunately for their customers, the results were negative this time. Dungannon Meats, which supplies stewarts, originally agreed to an interview, but after taking legal advice and after long negotiations, changed their minds at the last moment. Campbell Tweedy, who had lauded their quality control system, didn't want to discuss its failure according to Jim Dobson, one of Dungannon's owners. No one in Ulster worries more about cows than the permanent secretary of the Northern Ireland Ministry of Agriculture, Bill Hodges. Yes, it has got into the food chain and that both disappoints me and makes me very angry. Uh, I have already heavily criticised those who use and abuse this. But despite his anger, are his officials doing enough to stop the unscrupulous farmer? Mr. Hodges is only too aware that half the beef imported into the mainland comes from Ireland, north and south. We would like very much that that was increased rather than decreased. He's a scary man. I won't want to fuck with any him. Any one or any small number of individuals do to damage that damages not only themselves, damages a vitally important sector of this industry, not just for themselves, but for their sons, for their daughters, and from many who depend on the food sector in Northern Ireland for a living and for a future. We know that Tesco and Gateway use Dungannon meats. But Rest in peace, Gateway, by the way. Deny it. All the major supermarkets and Safeway. test for clenbuterol, but presumably, as in error, you don't and, test... And the J in Sainsbury. Once you go looking for it, if you look hard enough, you'll find it if it's there. And once you've found it, you start producing results and statistics, which people can turn the other way and say that, well... Gateway became Summerfield, really which became co-op, if memory serves. In Spain, where these policemen nearly died after inhaling pure clenbuterol during a raid, they're facing up to the problem. In Ireland, north and south, they're facing up to the problem too. But here on the mainland, critics say the authorities are turning their backs. Safeway became Morrison's. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you're right, you're right, yeah. Chain. The Minister of Agriculture declined... Be it became interview, Summerfield. As did all the major It became Summerfield. So will we learn... Look at the Spain's fucking side of that cow! And it is a cow, I can tell. ...experience, or merely repeat it. Fascinating stuff. I love this programme. I love it. There's a best of cook report, we might do that. Uh, is a giraffe a cow? No. A giraffe is probably part of the equine family. Is that right? Because it looks like it's a horse, isn't it? It's a long-necked horse. 
I think it's probably probably part of the horse family. It's a bit boring. You're wrong, R. Jones. You're wrong. You're right. It's the best. CKY, thank you very, very much. Cheers. Can I lift a count? No. Nope. Definitely, definitely not. I think... I, I, I reckon that's right, actually. Is a giraffe equine. No, giraffes are not related to horses. <laughs> Though these an these two animals have many similarities. Both come from two different families. There you go. We're all learning. We're all learning. Giraffes are not horses. Or related to horse uh, horses in, I guess, any way. They belong to the Artiodactalia family. And horses belong to the Parisodactalia family. Both got Dactalia in them. Uh, anyway, right. Uh, we're going to watch Kay's cooking. Pick up the fun a little bit. I'm, I want to show you the thumbnail on this. I want to show you the thumbnail because the thumbnail is really what sold this. I don't think this is going to be bad cooking. Um, it's just a batshit... I don't want to call it a recipe. It's... it's. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't look especially... <laughs> I'm just chicken that fucking thumbnail. Her face in that. <laughs> she doesn't know where she is anymore. She's eating too much of her own cooking. <laughs> the hood. Thank you very, very much. She is for 30 months. Thank you. Look at her. Just fucking dolloping all that barbecue sauce on there. Uh, let me show you the thumbnail. I think the thumbnail, combined with the title of the video, is one of the fucking funniest things I've ever seen on YouTube. Let me just make this a touch smaller. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pizza on toast. There's no... I can't see any... No, I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to get involved. That's what we're watching next week, by the way. The uh, 100k Q&A. Wait for it. Wait for <laughs> facing the paella. Another ve another vegan meal. It's, <laughs> it's it's just fucking half a potato and some pasta. It's just <laughs> there's nothing on it. <laughs> Andrew, Joanne, are you watching? You need to be cooking that tonight. Are you in here? Look at that. That's delicious. Mash and cheese. Yeah, okay. Spaghetti hot dogs. There it is. <laughs> Chicken nugget. And that is it. That's all she... What's up with that? Why is, why is she all fucking... <laughs> that. Those two videos epitomize Kay's cooking. Comna, she's got a cow patterned apron in the Hunter's Chicken thumbnail. This is a conspiracy, has she? Oh, that was the new one, wasn't it? Recently uploaded. Oh, she fucked... Nah, is it? No, that's like a mosaic... A tile. Does I don't know. I'm not convinced there. So, I need to see what's... I, I want to know what the what the meal is. Ah, people. Let me turn my uh, audio down a bit because I think Kay's about to deafen you. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today... <laughs> Her heart's not in this. Why Why was she a different colour? Why Why was she all, like, psychedelic? She's not even, she's not even like that in the video. Oh, fuck me. I don't know what that is. Pepper on top, red peppers. I think that's rice. Che cheese for K's half, no cheese for Pete's half. That is fucking nuts, that, isn't it? See what went in this quickly? I, d I genuinely don't know what that is under the, what I assume is egg juice. What is that? Is that rice? Shredded chicken or something? Spread them out. <laughs> Sorry, I, we're watching one. We're watching one. I'm not getting distracted. I'm not getting distracted today. Chicken nugget. <laughs> I fucking love her. I love her. 
What have I missed? Sam, you've missed a load of discussion about what constitutes a cow and what constitutes a bull and a steer and a bovine and uh, other things as well. Rob, I have to catch the VOD today, uh, leader. Hope it doesn't get taken down. It should be grand tonight. It should be grand. Wheel of Fortune, safe as houses. Don't know about that. I want to marry Harry one. We'll see. Should be all right. I think it'll be grand. Okay. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today, I'm going to be doing a different version of chicken nuggets. Plural. She sounds knackered, doesn't she? <laughs> As you can see, I've got the flour there. I'm going to put bit of salt some in there. salt in. Nice. And some pepper in. I'm going to mix that. That's a lot for one nugget. Mix that all round. So then everything will get a bit of flour on it. Um, as I watched the video, the lady on the video said, have a chicken breast. And she says the best thing to do is cut it up <laughs> in strips. Get hold of it, girl, and you might be able to cut it properly. <laughs> get your sharper scissors. How she only made one nugget? What the fuck has gone wrong here? Poison, thank you ever so much. Poison with a bloody five gifted subs there. Thank you ever so much. Congratulations to the mighty Konsu, Stig, Coco, Liam version one, and finalizer. Thank you, Poison. Cheers. NGT, I've decided that she's a massive pothead. It explains, it explains why her portion sizes are massive. She's always got the munchies. You say that, NGT. She's cooking one nugget, pal. What are you on about? And that... Oh will be one piece, as you can see. That's a fucking that's big scary. nugget there, Kay. So that will be one piece. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the rest of this chicken up. She's getting three strips out of this, isn't she? To make more strips. Obviously, her scissors was a lot sharper than mine. I have got some sharper scissors, but I keep always going back for the ones that don't cut very well. So I'm going to cut that one into another strip. Then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after. Now I have... Right, oh, she did it. She She's done it. The noise of the fucking chicken getting cut. Comna, Roger Cook kicks Kay's door down. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, Adam... Thank you very much, mate. Evening, Wang Chops. Finally home from work. Have I missed much as I celebrate my second year with you? Thank you for 24 months. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's worth watching back. Roger Cook. Very, very good. I've cut the chicken Please up. say she's got some egg here. And she's just going to dip it. She's just going to fucking dip it. The lady didn't use tongs. She used her hands. But, as you know, I don't like to put... There's no egg well, in sight. Know, She'd have done the egg by now. Go. It's going to go in the egg next. And I know... you know. <laughs> oh, I know fuck I... off. Did you hear us? I know she says egg, but that was such a pronounced egg. You know where it's going to go. It's going to go in the egg next. And I... Heg. <laughs> she she thought for a second as well. And that egg. Fuck me, Oliver. Thank you ever fucking hell. Ten gifted subs there from Oliver. Thank you very, 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 very much. Uh, congratulations to Cube Tube, Ashley, Glory, A Bit Late, Santa Mimon, Andy Mac, Flip Hansen, Cryptid Darby, Louis Maxted, and Uz Uzumaki Mosh. I always struggle with that. Uzumaki Mosh? I hope I said that right. Thank you very much, Oliver. Cheers, mate. Uh, and Double A, Case Cooking is the price to pay for the UK leaving the EU. I think she's been doing this longer. I think she's doing this pre-Brexit, you know. I know. You know I don't like the that on my, well, don't like anything like meat on my hands. No, why would you? As you can see, I've got all the ingredients. Yeah, there's some egg, there you go, it's fine. The chicken fine. is coming out of the flour. And that, if you want Into to know egg. what that is, that is egg. Just said or egg. as I call them, 
Heggies, have I just moved everything? Heggies, she's self-aware. We're making fun, we're the joke. Yeah. How bloody hell, yeah. Heggies. What's the crumb looking thing? Those are breadcrumbs, I assume. And mate. then, let the excess fall off, that's it. Excess. And into the breadcrumbs. I know you're going to say, oh, she's using the same tongs. Yeah, they'll get washed. She had a lot more breadcrumbs than me. That's it. And then when the pan warms up, kick the camera again, Kay. When the camera warms, when the camera warms up, when the pan warms up, which is um, on, on a medium heat, I should, in fact, I've put plenty of oil in. Hoyle, so, fuck off! Can't see it. Kay, we can't see it. We need to see get this. Get off my that's it. Oh, you didn't see that, did you? No. <gasps> <gasps> that is <laughs> a poor little chicken nugget all on its tad in the pan. Uh, well, all on its own in the pan. And now it's going to cook. Lovely. Right, as you can see, the chicken is... It's not a chicken nugget, but... It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. It's it's the best thing that we've seen her do. It's not fully breaded. No, it's not the worst though, is it? It doesn't look that bad. Let's let's be totally fair. You gotta be totally fair, Bobby. Adam, if you were sandwiched between your K's cooking and Maureen from driving school, wearing a strap on, and you were an inch deep in, I'm not reading this. I can't fucking hell. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I'm not doing those. Thank you, Bobby. He's in the pan. That floor is fucking filthy, isn't it? I've just clocked the floor there. And it's got to be on a medium heat. Uh, yeah, medium heat. And all it said in the video is just keep turning it over until it's done and it's golden brown on both sides. Um, I think that looks all right as it's cooking. I yeah. think I might need to put a little bit of oil in it, a bit more oil in it. Oil. At the moment, this it's it's in. I'm not I'm not convinced in, it's getting cooked no, throughout, sizzling, like all no. the way through. So, well, on the outside, the, the looks fine. It's moving. I swear it's moving. It looks like it is from my part, but anyway, <laughs> that is it cooking. I've turned it over, and well. Just I've, all I've got to do now is just let it cook and we'll see how it goes. As you can see, I have cut to them. It's frozen. And turned them over. No, it hasn't. You I thought it frozen. It's still sizzling. going. So then I can guarantee that the chicken will be done on the inside. Do you reckon she's got a meat thermometer? Uh, J Dog, thank you very much. Love me some cunt. This channel is amazing. And let's go with Kay's cooking. Thank you very much, J-Dog. Fucking hell, Poison. Calm down. Thank you, Poison. Thank you. Another five gifted subs. Congratulations if you are one of the following. Tom, Adam, Jericho Patton, Die Hard, or a Metro Gnome. Like the Metro Gnomes from Metroland. Thank you, Poison. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. So, Bless you, mate. Cheers. Um, I, did, I haven't turned it up on full heat. Um, it didn't say to turn it up onto full heat. It just said cook and keep turning. Regular. Why is she just doing one? So Why is she? Do I, um, I don't understand the thinking. She's cut all her chicken and up. And turning then regular. So I've done everything. It said on the pan, oh, on the pan, on the video. I know when she took hers out, her her chicken looked like drumsticks. Mine don't look like drumsticks, but you can't have everything. It's meant to be a fucking way. nugget. She did have, actually have chicken fillets, so I don't know why hers look like drumsticks when she's taking them out. Mine look. I look like pieces of the chicken breast covered in breadcrumbs. Fucking hell. So hopefully the chicken will do and everything will turn out perfect like hers. As you can see, it's cooked. Now, the... I can't see. I can't see any pink on that. I think that's cooked. I think that might be edible. 
legit. I think I think you could eat that without getting poorly. I think she's finally done it. She has to do one nugget at a time. It's not a nugget, but she has to do one whatever strip at a time. She's actually done it. She's done it. Gabe, thank you. Evening leader, you're looking like a Bulgarian gangster tonight. Thank you? <laughs> I don't know what a Bulgarian gangster looks like. I'll take it. Palmo Lord, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Supernatural Star Girl and Comna. Fuck's sake, I know it's K, but some salt and pepper wouldn't hurt. Comna, she put in the salt and pepper at the start if you were paying attention. Actually, she is seasoned. So do not say that. How dare you? The tricking is done. I have turned it up to full heat. Well, I've turned it up to full heat. And this is the end product. She doesn't know how to this hold a fork. Is the taste test. Right. <laughs> what a transition! Literally! What a fucking <laughs> Never in my fucking <laughs> Oh <laughs> Fucking hell. So I need to see that again. That was that was incredible. Wicked easy. Thank you for the gift. It's up to one lonely nugget. Thank you. One lonely nugget is going to be very confused by that. Is the taste test. Ah. Uh. Right. So taste <laughs> test time. He's going to love it. He's going to love it. Barry Needs a bit of sauce. It's a bit soft if you get what I mean. Oh. Not like normal. Right, uh. Not like crunchy chicken that you get, but actually does taste all right. Well, you want to tell your face. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh yeah. What is going on? <laughs> well, you want to tell your face, and then fucking seven seconds, seconds of uncomfortable silence. K is one of the few people who knows what the Colonel's secret blend of 11 herbs and spices are. <laughs> Certainly is. I've got to also say, thumbs up. And if you want to see more of Lee, or it leader the taste test, go over to his Facebook page, which is called It's Big Lee. <laughs> right, there's going to be... He's rebranded now. It's a new username. It's just consumable Pete. You don't need to search it's Big Lee anymore. You can just find that. A link in the description to my merchandise. Come on, Merchant. right. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. Come on, right. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. Actually, it was feel free. But if you like what, and if you want to leave a comment or send me any recipes that you like, providing there's no ginger or chilli, I will do them. So please feel free, the more the merrier. That's mine. And if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. Get subscribing, get everybody subscribing, get the whole world subscribing. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so proud of myself. Fucking smash the outro, pretty much. So I've, I've been asked to look at a new merch. I don't know if this is it. Is there new? No, this is the stuff that we've seen. <laughs> Ladies, uh, is that the new merch? I the, the she's fixed the the phone screen thing, hasn't she? She's she's fixed all the. So you can see it now. What was it? The mug. It was the mug. She's got printed glasses, pint glasses. 18 quid a pop. It's... They're not cheap, are they? Let, let me just have a look and see if her new video is... <laughs> She's out of it. That's the new merch. That's the new merch. 20 quid for a mug. It just says Kay's cooking on it. Get a load of those in there. Um, Dr. Goblin, this hasn't half brightened my day up, so thanks for this, Patches. Remember to have a look at her merch. Cultaholic could learn a thing or two. I know, we've, we've... 
we've fallen behind. We're not following the trends. This is what's what's big right now. It's uh yeah, it's it's something else. The Q and A, by the way, next week. Um is is honestly something else. If the first five minutes are anything to go by. So let's just have a quick look through. See if we can make there's probably some that have fallen under the radar a little bit. The Queen's chocolate perfection pie. It looks like a fucking burnt margarita pizza that, doesn't it? Happy Fucking hell. Is that chocolate or is that burnt? I think that's chocolate on the top there. Eh, there you go. That why is it covered in fucking cheese? What's up with that? Is it a savory thing? Why am I looking at the description? Why am I look This is why the Queen was able to live so long. <laughs> is it custard? You reckon it's custard? Yeah. Is it? But spoon it says spoon it on. Yeah, she's spooning on the custard. There you go. Oh yeah, you figured it out. Oh yeah, it looks obviously. Like literal shit. But uh that's confusing, that thumbnail. Cupcakes. They look like they'll turn out all right. Chips, eggs, and beans. A small meal. <laughs> that lamb dinner one's good, isn't it? Noodles pancake. Different jacket spuds. Honion soup. <laughs> a dad special. <laughs> What's a dad special? <laughs> Making jelly. No, what? Just... Round trees or so. Sorry, we're doing one more. We're doing one more. People underestimate Kay. She has outlasted Binley Mega Ch Chippy and Salt Bay. Yeah, fair play. She's not getting cancelled anytime soon. Even though, according to some of her Facebook comments, she fucking should. Hi, people. And I'm back again. And today I'm going to be making jelly. Jelly. Now I'm going to... It's just fucking packet powdered jelly. <laughs> That's the sprinkles of the jelly. <laughs> Bobby Needs looks like Morrissey in that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Fantastic. That's the sprinkles of the jelly in there. As you can see, I poured the... She stipped, skipped a fucking step there, hasn't she? Boiling water in, now all I'm doing now is... Stirring well, it stirring and then you whack it in the fridge. The is this it? Are they all melted? I have to ask my better eyes, I don't know, are they all melted? Looks like it, don't it? I can't see properly, but yeah. So that is jelly. I'm going to put that in the fridge and, well, it's going to set. Right, as you can see, it's setted, and if you don't believe set me... Set it! Have a good one, <laughs> And as you can see, I know it's only a small video and a small jelly, but that is the end product. And here is the taste test. Jump cut to Lee. No! She likes her jelly. Jelly on the spoon. Oh my god, it tastes like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Wheel of Fortune time. Wheel of Fortune. Steve, the average gamer, before I continue. All right. I'm back. Did you miss me? Probably not, to be fair. I wouldn't. Oh, self deprecating. Evening, leader. Finally got my Twitch back after being banned. What better way to celebrate than with that little bit of cunt? Hope you're all well. Hope you're all well, Steve. Steve, what did you do? Why did you get banned? How did you get banned on Twitch? Read the comments. This recipe showcases the skill of a true master. Such finesse is breathtaking. You've managed to make a difficult recipe quite simple for us, folks. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Please cook Indian food next. No, she doesn't like those people. Uh, ah, so this is where I was going wrong. I was pouring the jelly crystals into a boil kettle, then drinking it hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kay. Big fan. Glad to hear it tastes like jelly. I was having trouble with this recipe myself. <laughs> Many thanks for the water. <laughs> uh, 
perfection, an absolute magnum opus for this channel. This masterclass of educational entertainment will go down in the YouTube archives as the time we as a human race finally open our minds, our hearts, and most importantly, our souls. We don't deserve K's cooking, but we are blessed it exists. Fantastic. Love it. Was that a Christmas video? So the year people are saying it's Christmassy. Can you not uh, December twenty first? <laughs> why? Why would you want a roast dinner or a Christmas pudding, Christmas cake, pigs in blankets when you can have a fucking bowl of instant jelly? There you go. News just in. Her name isn't Kay. It's Barbara. Kay is her last name apparently. Well, you, I've just doxed poor Kay there. It's Kay. It's Kay. It's Kay's cooking. Barbara Kay's cooking. Half a trifle. Yeah, half a trifle. Good point. That is a good point. Okay, Wheel of Fortune time before we get to our main event of the evening, um, which is, um, what's it called? I Want to Marry Harry. Topical. Yeah? All right. Okay, let me um, sort my audio out. Wheel of Fortune. Before we start, I didn't. I didn't watch it, but because I, I was getting ready for the stream, but I saw Spudgun put in the Discord, coldtolic.com slash discord if you want to join. Full of nice people. Big shout out to the mods, Lee and Wrestling Fan eighty seven. Um, I, uh, I I saw uh, there's one where the wheel breaks. What's it called? What's it called? Spudgun, you there? What's it called? Should I just say wheel breaks? Wheel of fortune. It's not that one. It's this one. To determine who's going to spin the wheel first. The old lady of Threadneedle Street is a nickname of which financial... Inst yes, sir. At the Bank of England. He is absolutely right. The Bank of England. You are, you're a child. Rule number bank. two, understand how the game works. Banking. See if you can get some points in your account. Have a spin. He's fucked it. Wrong He's way. gone the wrong way. He's gone the wrong way. Hey. <laughs> Remember like, remember like a clock. Remember a clock goes round that way, and others go round that way. So you spin round that way. Carry on, on you go. Oh no, he stop. Broken He's broken our spoke. <laughs> it took all night to get the wheel properly fixed. <laughs> Fucking hell. You'd think, you'd think they'd allow it to be spun both ways. That's poor planning on their part. What a... But the most I important rule is What's always this one? keep your cool. <laughs> it's big money on the price is right. To be fair. Oh, bless her. Little Very Jimmy Cranky's loving it in the crowd. Composed. We are ready to win this. <laughs> it's a calorie tracker. All that for a calorie tracker? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, right, anyway. Wheel of Fortune time. Hopefully the wheel stains in one piece. We will see. Bradley Walsh and Jenny. Bradley Walsh has aged tremendously well. Oh, and Jenny. Oh. Jenny Powell. I haven't thought about her in a long time. I used to, I, when I used to bunk off school, this was like my, my go-to. I fucking love the Wheel of Fortune. Let's watch that. It's not a full thing, NGT. I'll have a look. If you, if you can find the full thing for me, I'm well up for that. This is shape, you know, because I used to be a boxer. I had one fight. I remember saying to my trainer, he don't scare me, short stubby legs and a flat brown head. He said, don't be stupid, that's a stool. Okay, <laughs> tell us what's up on, on offer tonight, Steve. <laughs> 20 pounds <000 laughs> on offer tonight, Brad, I can tell you. Or will it be this fabulous five-door family saloon? Okay, then, mate, tell us all we take him on the line. Pamela Chantley is from Stockport. She enjoys horse riding and snooker. Sounds like polo to me. Paul Wybot is from Brighton. He's a big fan of Barbara Streisand, hoping to avoid a stony end tonight. And Audra Nightingale is from Kilmarnock in Scotland. She collects nail varnish. She'd like to be a cutie kill on the wheel. Those Very good. Contestants, Brad. Thanks, Steve. Welcome to the show, gang. 
Right, play along at home. Singer slash song. Duran Duran. Five and five. Who are the resident team captains in the TV series Shooting Stars? Vic and... Yes. Oh, and Mark Lamar. It is Ulrika Johnson Ulrika, of course it is. You are in control. You can put Spin the wheel. Okay, 400. Decent start. L for Lima. There are two L's in the puzzle. 800 quid. It's that easy, all right? Double L's there. Um, S for sugar. One S. Sally. Could be Sally at the Three end. Sun at the end. I'm going to try and not look at the chat. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going on my giraffe page. There. Oh, fucked it. Absolutely fucked it. Hot Holly. Buddy, Buddy Holly. Oh. Oh, I'm onto something here. Buddy Holly. What's, what, what? I don't know the song. Only the lonely. What else is Buddy Holly saying? Mm. Two G's in there. Peggy Sue. Right. Buddy Holly Peggy Sue. He's fucking got... Look at that. Come on. Look at the chat now. A few other people got it. Uh, P for Paul, please. P for Paul. One P in there. You're very strong, aren't you? I am. Yeah. You know, you've noticed, know haven't you? I'll be yeah, straight in there. Chug at the old wheel. Oh, he's doing well. Four fifty. Uh, D for Delta. Nope. Yep, there's there. T, the Buddy Holly. Yeah, I'm an idiot. And, and a cash, cash prize. D. If you solve it now, you also have a bonus of 100 pounds. Go on. If you want to solve it, if you don't, carry on. Can I solve it? You can if you wish. Buddy Holly, Peggy Sue. Yes. Yeah, right. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm not a massive Bradley Walsh fan, but I do think he seems like a nice guy. Have you been seeing? Oh, don't want to get sued here. Have you been saying, seeing all the David Walliams stuff kicking off on Twitter? Big fucking strokey nonsense. <laughs> have you seen it all? I have a search of his name today. I've heard things, right? From friends who, who work in the media. He's an arsehole. He's an arsehole. Okay, what prizes for Paul right now, Steve? Reportedly, Whoa, allegedly. No, you haven't really. You want a selection of clothes for yourself if you want them. Everything that could make you the elegant man about town. Alan Carr has replaced him on Britain's Got Talent because he was secretly recorded um, calling a contestant a cunt, which I quite admire. To be honest, if it was anyone else, no. Uh, have you seen the clip when someone got the answer in one letter on this? No, I haven't. Chaos, I haven't. In the prize package. A lot of people are saying that David Williams isn't the nicest bloke in the world. So I'll say no you more. Choose clothes for the female in your life if you want to. You don't have to, of course. Elegant, simple for any occasion. Or what about designer clothes for kids? Yes, these two charmers have been working away in the modeling world and doing extremely well. Which one gets the thumbs up? All right, what prize do you want? I think I'll go for the suit, please, Brad. The suit is yours, Paul. Well played. Good choice. My friend is an air hostess, and she says that he's a massive stroppy cunt. Screamed at her for not having a specific type of wine. Cunt. According to Comna. I didn't say it. Comna said it. I can believe it. Horrible. Look like a postman. He's will place Jenny's prize star on the thousand points for that gag. If you go on to solve the puzzle after landing that, that prize is yours. And the puzzle, it has four words and is a phrase, gang. Okie dokie, here's the second question. Get ready, all use those folks at home. Right, I'm closing the chat Who again. Who designed St Paul's Cathedral? Yes, Camilla. Christopher Wren. It was Christopher Wren. Well done. Absolutely, yes. Spin if there was a contestant to know that, she was the one. Oh, oh, could have been bad. T for Tommy, please. Yeah, okay. Two T's in the T for Tommy. T for Tommy. Okay, and again. Bottom. Bottom. R for Roger, please. Rotten. One R in the puzzle. No, not rotten. Well could be bottom. 
Oh, unlucky. S for sugar. Three S's in there. Great choice of letters. Excellent stuff. Three S's in there. Rock, rock. No. D for data. Two D's in there. Building your points up nicely. Dressed. Dressed. Uh, dressed as mutton dressed as lamb mutton yes oh, it fucking is as well yes come on I need to go on this show L for Lima well there is one L in the puzzle buzzing with that you can buy a vowel yes you can have an E didn't look at the chat I promise you I'm, I'm looking at the chat now mate can I buy another vowel, please? You can Come buy on. another vowel, yes. Can I buy an A, please? You can buy an A, yes. Would you like anything else? Buy anything else? You can buy these or the stuff down here if you wish. Come on, that's you easy that now. She better get this now. You play oh. very well. Cool, grand. Very, very nice. M for mother, yes. I must admit you are playing very, very well indeed. She's cleaning up. Excellent. Can I solve the puzzle, please? Yeah, you can solve it. Mutton dressed as lamb. Yeah, mutton dressed as lamb. She did very well. Excellent, excellent stuff. That's fantastic. Thanks, Jen. There you are, folks. That's mutton dressed as lamb. Right, Camilla. Now let me tell you, you're single. Very much so. <laughs> you're oh, single. You, you're finding you look on the lookout for a bloke. I understand. Definitely. Is that right? It's got to be Mr. Right, though. Is it? He doesn't exist. He doesn't. He, <laughs> oh, doesn't he? What they do? They just don't exist. Why is that then? Too choosy. Are you? Yeah. Really? And you, they, you always have a hobby, don't you? You uh, help your mum. What's oh, that genealogy on computer. Oh, right. <laughs> it's not really a hobby, is it? Fair enough. Yeah, yes. and, and what's that? That's like family, family, family history. trees. Family history. Yeah. Can't you find Mr. Right by there and go back in time? They're all dead. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> okay. All right, so Steve, tell Camilla what prize is on store in tonight. Well, Camilla, we may have the ideal prize here for the single woman. No, unfortunately, it's not him. It's the shower unit. He's one of our... Whoa! ...trained in the martial arts, Brad. Be careful. Now, what about this? A short break in Reykjavik. And what a Sorry? The bloke with... Like, she's off to fucking Reykjavik or got a nice shower. The bloke... The bloke before... <laughs> got to pick some kids' clothes or something. What? A single woman to meet Better the prizes the later in the game, I guess. <laughs> Boom, boom. And finally, never accept sweets from a strange man unless it's a bouncing sweet. Yes, that's the prize. The choice is entirely yours. Take it. Whoa, look at that. Very, very good. Okay, what prize do you fancy? I can't have the male model. It'll have to be the trip to Reykjavik. Okay, Reykjavik very is yours. Way better prizes. He's, he's off with a suit. No points at the moment. Never mind. Never mind, my love. You're in third place. Paul, you're in second place with 3,000 points. Camilla's How many in the she got? At this precise moment nice. Fabulous game she played with 5,600 points. Love to go to Reykjavik. The first half. We'll see you in a minute. Don't go away. Spin at a wheel. It's a, it's a quick show, this, isn't it? This is, I, I don't know why we've not done this before. There aren't that many Wheel of Fortunes on there. i tell you something I found today that I've been looking for for ages... Um, was Lily Savage doing um, Blankety Blank. And I was like, oh, man, I, I used to fucking love that as a kid. And I've honestly, I've been looking for it. It doesn't exist anywhere on YouTube. I said, Spud Gun, were you asking about this? There is at least one episode on archive.org. And I was going to I was gonna do it. It uh, didn't stand the test of time. Maybe it was a shy episode or something. Um, but it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Whereas Wheel of Fortune, expect to see more of this. None on Billy Billy, Billy either. I always price. check. How about a white and yellow gold ring and brooch? What a marvellous pair. A bit like me and Brad. <laughs> That's a most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's going to be a lot worse. Then. <laughs> Why is he fucking going with this? Yes. You Fair. can win Jenny's prize if you land on Jenny's prize star, which goes on the... 700. 700, that's around there. If you'd like to put that on for me there, Camilla, thank you very much. And you go on to solve the puzzle. That prize is yours. And in this moment, we've all been waiting for, yes, it's Brad's box. <laughs> Brad's box. 
bit of slapstick. Yes, now I don't know what's in there and it's probably smashed by now because I just <laughs> slammed it down on the top. But if you land on the thousand there, land on Brad's box disc and give me a letter to the Piers in a puzzle, you win the contents of my... Yeah, there's there's old ones with what's his name? Okay, is it? It's not Des O'Connor. Des something. Is it Des? It has five I was specifically after the couple famous couple. Who get control of the will? Nobody knows. Only me, because I'm the question master. <laughs> what He's off his tits. K2? Pardon. Oh, Wasn't Des Lynham? Les Dawson. Les, not Des. Spin the wheel. Okay, she needs to pick up some points here. That's immediately Ooh. doubled to a thousand points. Decent. N for Norman. N for normal? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Five N's immediately. Brilliant choice. Two and a half thousand. A of applause. <laughs> and, right, I'm closing the chat again. See you with you in a minute. Ah, no, not Andrew. Ooh, dicey. D for get the Donald. D, get the D out of the way. Donald. Good shout. Two D's. Spin again, my dear. Spin again, my dear. Mandela. That Seven, says Mandela. No. S for sugar. One S. No, definitely not. Not a clue on this one. Andrews. Oh yes, that has done you a lot of favours. You are seriously in contention. L for Lima. L for Lima. One L in there. That is two thousand points nonetheless. And, and again. No, it's not Andrews. There's there's Mandrews. Andrews. At least it's not a bankrupt. All right, Camilla, round to you. Oh, oh dear. No Rough. Round, not a problem. Paul. Oh, yeah, she doesn't lose anything, yeah. I've not watched this in a while. Oh, go on, go on. Lovely stuff. Take off the star prize. You're very strong, give him... Reg, you all right in there? He's probably got an eight ball. Reg is inside the wheel. Go on, choose a letter. Uh, I'll go for... H for Harry, please. H for Harry, one H in there. Poor oh, Reg! Struggling here. Reggie. I'll have a G for Gary again, please. G Stop for saying Gary. Gary. Oh, what a Just the one. Shut up, Reg. I need to get in. Shut up, Reg. He's killing me. Shut up, Reg. <laughs> Have an half a rascal, please. You can have an half a rascal if you wish. Oh, I've got a headache. Shut up, Reg. <laughs> Keep going, sir. Do you want to guess it? No. Oh, I don't blame you. It's a toughie. Famous couple. Green. green. Oh. Fucking oh, all these 200s. W, <laughs> w for Walt. No W. Okay. Order. Anybody got any ideas in the chat? I'm not looking. 600. P for Peter. Mm. No P. Eight hundred. T for Tommy, please. Two T's in there. <laughs> it's a good round, this one. Griffith. Ow, oh, fucking right. hell. Oh, Griffith. No. That'll be, won't it? Anton? Uh, M for mother, please. M for mother. One M in there. Melanie Griffith is a person. Melanie Griffith and Anton... Oh, I don't know what that is. Honduras? <laughs> I... Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's An oh, there's more. An Anthony... Oh, no. It's not. B for Bravo. Melanie Griffith. Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Melanie Griffiths and Antonio. Melanie Griffiths and Antonio Banderas. Banderas. Got it. Got there in the end. I imagine I was very late there. Anton Honduras. Anton Honduras. The voice of Puss in Boots. Antonio Banderas. Now, you haven't always been a steward for Jack got that 10 minutes ago. Well, at least you know I'm not cheating, all right? I did, yeah. What was that? I was a hospitality silver service waiter to the Director General. Woo. The only problem was his meals kept repeating on him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the best joke of the evening. Laugh, Camilla. You're standing there going, you got to laugh. 
<laughs> okay, J-Bog, up the leader, up the Spurs. Fuck the Woolwich. Yes, we have some prizes. Why fuck the Woolwich? Well, Paul is a person traveling the world. We've seen every Woolwich. set you can imagine. But Woolwich. nothing like this magnificent top Thank you, J -Bob. with cushion. Quite like that. Don't mind it. This? No, I know it looks like a wall, but what we'll do is we'll reform your home, transform it into decorative glory with wallpaper on your choice. You'll love it. And if you don't want to see a handyman in. What about this? You could stare at the telly. This is your final choice. A top of the range TV with remote control. Eric Clapton, wonderful tonight. This Straight in there on that one. Top of the range TV with Bonus point there. 100%. Uh, his prizes are considerably shitter than the uh, the woman who won the second round. It can be yours. What about that? I can't believe they've got wallpaper in there. Choose a prize, Paul. I'll take the television, please, Brad. All right, mate. And, of course, the television is yours. And the Star Dinner Star Prize is yours. I'll tell you, buddy, if Paul doesn't win anything, this is for her. Oh, that's Thank nice, you. mate. Oh! oh. And keep up with that, then, there you go. Yeah, that was a really nice gesture, Paul. Absolutely fantastic. OK, can that's we That's nice, isn't it? Points. Let's have a look at Good the lad. puzzle. It has three words, which is food and drink. OK, food, stroke, drink. Once again... <laughs> the Wheel of Charity. <laughs> Sung by G. Top bloke, G. Yeah. What was the title of the United Kingdoms? Yes, Paul. G. G. Allen. Ooh, ah, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, Gina G. Right, you are, you are Ooh, ah, just a little bit. He's rocking and rolling. Spin the wheel. Something. Oh, very nice. I'm rooting for him after that. Him that display of generosity. Go on, Paul. Top S for Sheila, please. S for Sheila. Two S's in there. Yeah, excellent stuff, mate. Okay, spin again. Oh, I've got to close the chat. One sec. Oh, you're gone. And again. Oh, and again. Fans. Look at that. He's doing well. I'm rooting for him big time. T for Tommy. T for Tommy. Oh, he's cooking the gas now, isn't he, the lad? There he is there. Hello, come in. T for Tommy. Jenny's on another planet. Don't know what that could be. 900. Very nice. Go for the D or the E. No, the D or the N, rather. R for Richard, Jenny, please. R for Richard. Well, it's there, Jen. I've got it. Okay, gang, that's a speed round. Means I spin the wheel. Whatever number it lands on in the centre. Flipper, you're playing for 900 points. Double the course. It's still with you, Paul. You have to choose letting five seconds to solve it. L, please. L, no L in there, I'm afraid. Okay, order it's round to you. P for Peter, please. There is one P in there, five seconds to solve it. No. You can't, mm. thank you. Camilla? N. For Not sure on this N yet. N for Nutty, two N's in there. There's a lot of points to be won here as well. No. Any ideas? No. Paul? D for Dad, please. D for Dad, one D in there. I can't even get that last Paul? one. Mm. No, sorry. Aldra? C for Charlie. One C in there. Shit. Aldra? No. Camilla? H for Harry. H for Harry. Ch no. No. Champagne no. and... M. No, it's mother. not. M for mother. One M in no, there. No, there's a... I could keep missing the letters at the end here. Champagne and oysters. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Go on, he's done it as well. He's done it. Didn't get that one. I was almost there with champagne. Absolutely tremendous. I tell you what, you've played a blinder, lad. You've played a blinder. Well done, Arnold. Good lad, good lad, lad. Well done, Paul. Played a blinder, you E, E, E. Oh, yeah, it's your girlfriend, sorry, yeah. He's played a part in the life. All right, champagne okay. rice as well done, Paul. Absolutely fantastic. All right, and your, uh, and your ambition is to meet who? Barbara Streisand. And? And? The Princess of Wales. Princess of Wales, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I hope he managed, all right? I, why, why did it go so awkward there? Even before the, the lady died bit there. Rest in peace, die. Um... <laughs> There's a, there's a bit of weird silence. Oh. Well, Paul, if you get the chance to meet either that princess or Barbara Streisand, then this could be a cracking price to entertain them with. Would you look at these gold glasses? Absolutely. <laughs> They're fucking horrible. Or for that very special occasion, some fabulous cutlery. Why does he get all the shit prizes? Send him on holiday. And finally, what about a bit of luxury 
and decadence. Well, I'm going for this one, I've got to be honest. Champagne, of course, a case of the stuff. And could this be caviar? Well, the producer ate the real stuff, but it's very close. Blech. Horrible. Very good. Sure. Excellent stuff. What do you think, Mike? What do you think? It's going to be the cutlery. The cutlery, yeah. It's yeah. Very Useful. Good. Special occasions. My nan's got a set for special occasions. Very sweet. Time as always, gang, to call up the bank. Let's see what's happening. Okay, Camilla, 11,000 points. Paul, 19,900. Nice. It's a lot. Can you do it, Audra? You can't nope. 12,900. Paul, you're through to play for the big prize. Come on, we're rooting for Paul here. Well done, mate. Fantastic. Girls, have you enjoyed the day? It's been, it's been great. You yeah, haven't found Mr. Right, Camilla, but what you have done is... Done what about very, Paul? Very well indeed. You're not going away empty-handed. You're taking away your trip to Reykjavik. Wonderful. All right. Nice one. Thank you. And Audra. <laughs> Although you didn't win anything, okay. you're in fact getting Paul's star prize. Thanks. Jenny's star prize is handing over, Thanks. which is a gold ring of broke. That's lovely. Nice and of course, you get the Wheel of Fortune, electronic games and watches. All right. Thanks. For I, had that. I had that. I had that. Let me tell you, Paul, come with me, mate. Time to go for the big prize. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. I closed the chat in anticipation. We want to see him win that car. Okie dokie. Not that you really, not that you really need reminding. Steve, tell him what he's playing for. Well, Paul, you're playing for either the tax-free £20,000 or this fabulous Rover 214i five-door family salute. Good luck to you for everyone. Yeah, good luck, mate. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We've played a great game. Jim, let's find out what you're playing for. You have played a really, really good game, mate. You have indeed. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Which one is it, Jimmy? Which one? Which one do you fancy? There you go. Jim, what does he want? The cash? He's shaking, bless him. It's not the only one, mind. Well, you're only playing for 20 grand. Nice. Come on, Paul. It's a little one. It's a little one. It's easy. Okay? It has two words and is a sporting great. Okay? Two words and is a sporting great. I'll ask you for six letters, five consonants, one vowel. Take your time. Once you've chosen letters, any of them appear in the puzzle, they'll light up. Jenny will turn around, help her to solve it, and the 20K is yours. Okie dokie. You've played a blinder, mate. Don't worry about that. Okay. Clearly give me your letters, the consonants first. S for Sheila. Yep. G for Gary. R for Richard. N for November. Good choices. T for Tango. That's good. That's good. Okie dokie. And now your consonant. Uh, oh, I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. And now your vowel. A for Alan. They were meant to cut that out there. He gave him a clean take and they didn't a use it. for Alan. Okay. Jenny, put them in the puzzle. Scrunter. Oh, it's good. It's good. George Best. It's George Best. It's easy. Go on, mate. Go on. 15 seconds. Come on, you got it. He knows it. He fucking knows it. Look at his face. Starting now. George Best. Go on. Fantastic. <laughs> what did he say to her there? He mentioned earlier I had a bit of a, a bit of a crush. He just said something in her ear there. Can anyone read lips? She stacked it. <laughs> Great episode. Love that. Really, really enjoyed that. Still want to know what he said to Jenny there. Um, oh, I've got a recommendation before I... Um, fuck. Before I... Uh, 
get the main event of the evening, the Prince Harry thing, set up, which I'll do now. Um, something has appeared on iPlayer. Fucking hell, sorry about that. That was loud in my ear as well. Scared the shit out of you there, didn't I? Lou Markham, thank you very, very much. Cheers. Thank you for 32 months. Bloody hell. Uh, NGT, quickie round the back for 10k. That's why. <laughs> All right, thank you, NGT. Cheers. Sorry, sorry for the loud noise. I've got a recommendation. It's on iPlayer for the next 30 odd days. Early Doors is back. I think they've been repeating it on telly. It's one of the, one, genuinely one of the best British sitcoms ever. Uh, and nobody really ever talks about it. It's so good. It's so, so good. It's written by Craig Cash and Phil Mealy. It looks a little bit like that bloke who just won, actually. Um, it's it's so good. You you will not regret it. Just give it give it a chance because you've only got 30 days. Give it a chance. It's two series of it. And it's it's just sensational. The, it, it's so, so funny. Um, if... What what's it similar to? Well, I don't I don't know what to if if you like good comedy basically. It's uh, Craig Cash was obviously one of the co-writers of uh, Royal Family. If you like that, you'll like this. Brilliant working class comedy. It's just great. It's just it's so good. Um, so BBC iPlayer, check that out as I get this set up and let me drop the volume before I. The Fucking hell, that is so loud. Um, oh yes, yeah, smoking room. I've not seen the smoking room in ages. Wasn't Jeremy from Peep Show? What's his name? Robert Webb. Wasn't he in that? I, I remember it being on telly, and not, not really following it at the time, but hearing really great things. It's got a good, good cast in that. I might have to check that out. You know, I might have to check that out. Two series, 17 episodes, and a Christmas special. You can't go wrong. Early Doors will make you cry, by the way. The end of season two. I'll say no more, but whew, goodness me, goodness me. Uh, working class comedy, so Adam doesn't it. Like it? Appreciate it? Yeah, I, got, I, I see what you're doing there, Emmett. Uh, okay, right. This is a recommendation from Dan Heppel. Um, one of the people responsible for the history of WWE documentary. So you know he's a clever guy. You know he's you know he's good. He's talented, right? But does his talent extend to choosing shows that are good for see you next Tuesday? JL JL saw you rather. Thank you. Hey Adam, hope all is going well and you had a good Christmas and new year. Thank you very much JL saw you. That's a lovely message. Cheers. And Stankmans, what a username? Stankmans. Cheers. Uh, a brand new subscriber, Stankmans. Thank you very much. Good choice. So yeah, this is a dating show uh, where I think the concept is, and I haven't looked into this. Um, the concept is that these women here um, are being tricked into thinking that they might have a chance of dating or marrying Prince Harry. The Prince Harry. Um, I don't remember it. I've never heard of it in my life, in fact. So, let's see how we get on. It's an American show, but it's British enough for it to be acceptable here on See You Next Tuesday. And then you only got to wait like three months and I'll do an American special again just before WrestleMania. Because WrestleMania embodies American patriotism. I don't know why it says Mexican on it. No idea. I don't understand that. It is, it is in English. I skipped through it. It's in English. Have a look. Women have that MGTOW sign though. Yikes! What does that mean? What does that mean? Have I have I put something really problematic on here? What does that mean? Uh, Dog the bounty. Yeah, we'll do some more Dog the Bounty Hunter for sure. It's an incel thing. Is it really? Men going their own way. Oh wow. Okay. Good choice, Tan. <laughs> That's how he found it. He's one of those. He's one of those. It's not true. Uh, poison. Apparently they had psychiatrists on hand to make the women question their sanity if they cast doubt on it actually being Prince Harry. No, what? This sounds mental, this. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Come to London, England, looking for true love. When they meet a real Prince Charming. No. Our boyfriend's someone big. That's Prince Harry. No way. It can't be. He's Prince Harry, and I know it. This could be a true Cinderella <laughs> story. Sorry. Prince Harry, and I know it. From a distance, maybe. <laughs> Looks more like fucking Jack Swagger. 
Okay. It's not that they could have found better, can they? Surely. <laughs> I guess, I, you know what? If you don't know, if you don't follow the royals, obviously we've seen a lot of Prince Harry lately. You, you can't escape Prince Harry. Love him or hate him. I'm indifferent. I don't care. Uh, I'm, okay, yeah, sure. Let's crack on. This could be He's a just a ginger bloke, yes. Story. Only in this fairy tale, it's the prince who's hiding a secret. Wonder what that is. I can't imagine. Your family at Buckingham Palace? You see, underneath all the trappings, he's not a prince at all. What? He's just an ordinary boy who looks a lot like Prince Harry. A lot is a <laughs> to the throne. <laughs> no, you know, I guess back then, closer. But... Looks like Buddy Syndrome Pine from The Incredibles. Oh my God! Boy, yes. Looks a lot like Prince Harry. It really. D <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. You're right. <laughs> Fourth in line. Ninety-nine percent. Sorry, before I continue, Comna, I only watch the Rumble Mania Survivor Series and SummerSlam every year because fuck watching all the pay-per-views until like 4am. You can you can watch them on demand, mate. 9.99. Buzzing for the Rumble, watch it with my brother Jay, aka Fat Cunt. Lovely, Comna, enjoy. I'm buzzing for the Rumble as well. Go to extreme lengths. Come now, right now. His security is not for shadows. Sorry, there's one more. Thank you, Exploder. Evening Tory Twonk. Been a while, hope you and Happy are happy. Been binging the Rumble matches on the network and wondered what you think is the most underrated is. For me, 2007 is a cracker, and my word, 95 is just awful. Yeah, 95's got the biggest... Oh, and piss flaps as well. Uh, biggest load of... Uh, nobody's in it. No offence to any of the great wrestlers who put their bodies on the line every day for us uh, who were in the 95 Rumble. Uh, 2007 is a really, um, is a really, really good shout, actually. Um, like, people always go to just the best one like 1992 if you if you disagree that that's the best rumble and i actually i think it probably is but you get a bloody earful don't you you get massive earful um what year was was it 2010 with punk's sermon and loads of interlocking story uh, two two thousands really good two thousands really good oh one decent the um the 2020 Rumble, I think, was a little bit underappreciated, perhaps. Anyway, sorry, Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Yeah, 20, 2010's really good. That's one that I go back and watch. He looks a lot like William. Oh my gosh, shut the up. I have to convince them I'm Prince Harry, but. Good voice. Is good for voice. Them to like me for who I am. This is my chance to find a girl who I connect with. I quite like you. I quite like you too. But if it all blows up in my face, I'm going to be hugely cut up about lying to 12 women. <laughs> what? <laughs> Instant classic, this. Mental. That 1% that doesn't match must be the face. <laughs> yeah, from the neck down, he's spot on. What is going on here? Over eight weeks, the girls will fight for the affection of our fake prince. Who do you guys think Prince Harry likes the most? We are competing for one guy. I'm ready for war. She's a skank and a drunk. Oh. Each believing they could be a real princess. This is the ultimate fairy tale. This could not be more romantic. It's a dream. I've always loved this love story about this lucky girl who meets this amazing Prince Charming. When he's chosen his one true love, oh my god, he will 2001 be Rumble was fucking brilliant. Weapons in the Rumble is a great idea. As long as it doesn't last too long, yeah. I, I think they they dealt with it really well, didn't they? 2001's great. Or love him for the man he is. I am in this for the right reasons. Can love survive when fame, wealth, and status falls away? <laughs> Welcome to the fairy tale. That's a horrible feeling to know that you were wrong all along. That could become a nightmare. <laughs> you kiss the guy I like. Bitch, you are fake. Are you kidding me right I now? You have nothing nice to say. Don't say anything at all. It feels like my heart was ripped out of my chest. <laughs> This looks bonkers. 
Prince Charming. This looks absolute. Sorry, let's get a proper. Not too bad there. That's not a bad shot of him. I think he looks quite a lot like Prince Harry at that time. Perhaps. This is mental. Can't blame them. Uh, can't blame him, though. They're stupid as fuck, and he got to bed. Then none of us would say no. Thank you, NGT. Always insightful. Prince Harry. Oh, he didn't even look like him before. They've gingered him up. It's that is what I do before I stream. Rich, handsome, and for those who dream big enough, royal. Oh my god, I knew it! There's Unbelievable! Did you see that? Produced by Braun Strowman. <laughs> Just a bit of wrestling humor for you there. Oh my god, I knew it! Same name, no missing an R. Good stuff. Though. Come on, come on, everybody. Twelve American girls have come to England to meet a man they'll think is a real prince. We're in Downton Abbey! <laughs> I totally believe in fairy tales, and when I find the right guy, I will have a fairy tale ending. I feel really underdressed. Like, what the heck? I'm here to get me my Prince Charming and my happy ending. On a wrestling note, 2004 oh, Rumble was great. Unfortunately, God. the winner... Mm, thank you. Is to find that perfect Took me a second guy. there. I Cheers, NGT, as British. always, again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like a princess or something? I've actually never been in love, and I'm definitely in the spot in my life that I'm ready to find a Prince Charming for me. The girls have no idea who he is. We think, we he'll think he's British. British. Yeah, okay. probably. All they've been told is he's arriving today. Is he someone in royalty? Maybe someone famous. A diplomat of some sort. Definitely looks like someone important. We're all really excited to meet him. I wonder what he's doing right now. This is Matt Hicks. I'm 23 and I'm looking for love. He's single, poor. I can't afford a car at the minute. He's not poor, is he? Look where he's living. He's not poor. And his voice, come on. I'm currently borrowing a friend's bike to cycle to work each day. But he's good-hearted. My job specifically involves clearing up oil spills. And it's hard work, but it's something It's I good really money, enjoy. that, isn't it? He's truly looking for love. I'm here to find a genuine connection with a girl. And who knows, maybe at the end I will find the one. And he just so happens to look a lot like the world's most eligible prince. Prince Harry of Wales. <laughs> I have wondered before what it would be like to actually be Prince Harry. To transform this pauper into a prince, we've given Matt a castle, security detail, toys fit for a king, a household staff with a personal butler. Good morning, sir. My name is Kingsley. I'm at your service. Thank you. And a crash course in how to be Harry. So let us begin at the beginning. You were born on September the 15th, 1984. You are now fourth in Harry's hospital. The nickname is Harry. Father is Prince Charles. Charles. First of over royal duties in 2012 Wales Princess Diana. Uh, official royal title is His Royal Highness Henry, Prince of Wales. If Matt is going to fool the 12 women into believing he's a prince, he must learn to master aristocratic etiquette. So I've got this table laid out in front of you here. What does all this do? What are all these pieces of cutlery? Tell me. There's a shot glass. A what? A shot glass? No. He must learn to fence. Blood, back, back. How do you wear these? I've got a massive front wedgie on these. The cartridge is in. Shoot, ski. Well, miss. We've got a very short amount of time to make you into a world-class polo playing prince, so let's just jump on, try and put your foot in the saddle. Looks more like Ed Sheeran than Prince Harry. 100% our new raven. It's looking quite good, isn't it? It's look I'm looking for love, so he's going to trick them all to believe that he's Prince Harry. Or you put Prince Harry. <laughs> Prince Harry. Fuck off. And how to play polo. Here you go. the tree, by the tree. My bum hurts. <laughs> this is the very final time we are going to go through all this information. When were you born? He's got a bit of Gordon Ramsay about him as well. 84. Yeah. 
closer to the uh, 15th unit. of September. That's correct, sir. How tall are you? Six foot three. Star sign. He's Sorry. six three. Official Prince Harry. Title Henry is... Charles Albert David Windsor. Yeah, well done. Well, they made a version on CBBC. No. Nope. The Royal <laughs> This is where the transformation. Thank you, Urban happens. Munch. Turning our popper Matt into the world's most eligible prince. I ultimately want to find a genuine romance and for bullshit. Let's do this. Your Highness. As the girls settle into the castle, they speculate feverishly on who they're about to meet. I want to know about the guy. What is he just like a British guy that won't like some American Only likes girls? American girls? Like everyone's from America. All the girls right? can be American, right? I know. Yeah. I think so. My name's Maggie. I'm 24 years old. All I know so far is I'm going to be competing for one guy with 11 other girls. There's more. Oh Hi. Woo! If this is his place, he must be like a big shot. I mean, who is this guy? So, Hi. ladies, Hi, are Jackie. you also oh, pretty? Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Leah. Leah Tom, I'm cool. Intimidating, it's fine. The guys have been intimidating. Are the whole musician? My car is breaking down every five seconds. I know how to play guitar, so that makes up for it, kind of thing. No, I just quit my job as a cocktail waitress. Like I've gotten so many strange offers working at the hotel. Like couples have asked me to come up with them. <gasps> I'm not getting a job. <laughs> no offense to any of these ladies, but I don't think they're going to ask him about any of that shit. I bet half of them can't spell Prince. I feel like that MGTOW might be in your search history, MGT. Am, am I right? <laughs> you don't know what they're like. They might suss him immediately. There probably wouldn't be eight episodes if they sussed him immediately. Can I turn it up a bit? Of course I'm I can, I'm a hopeless mate. romantic. I believe in only one guy that you really, truly fall in love with. I just graduated with my doctor in physical therapy. How old are you? Um, I'm 25. Oh, good. We have another oldie. Yay! Another oldie? Yeah. I can tell things are gonna get catty with the other girls. And pre-med, cell and molecular biology, the interest in ophthalmology, bitch. You wanna take it back, NGT? Are you a pre-med and all that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the other girls as She'll figure them out. I'm smart, I'm funny, I'm beautiful. I'm the package deal. And a lot of these girls don't have anything. Four. Meanwhile, Matt prepares for his grand entrance. I need to pause it here because I don't really watch reality TV like this. Give me the hotel any day. Different, right? I'm going to um, suspend my disbelief. This is all kayfabe and I'm going to buy into it. I'm not going to talk about any of this being nonsensical, overproduced garbage. It's one for you Americans. I'm going to get into this. I quite like this already. Uh, NGT, Adam, they can't use Google and think that thing is Prince Andrew. No, I won't take it back. You go ahead, mate. You go ahead. This is what it's all been building up to. I'm I, work I am working Prince myself Harry into a shoot and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. It can be disappointing when This is my total bellers. That I'm not Prince Harry and then they show no more interest. Do American women really drool this over English guys like the media portrays asking for a friend? Seeing. Come to mate, you're going to be very disappointed because unfortunately, since the advent of this little thing called the internet, they figured out that we're a bunch of fucking wonky toothed smelly weirdos. We're rubbish. Can't, can't do it anymore. Maybe back in the day, like Colin on Love Actually, he had some luck in that fictional film, didn't he? He did all right. He went over there and he ended up. He ended up in bed with like four beautiful American women. It's not like that. They they know. They know we're fucked. They know. Speak for yourself. Yeah, true. Uh, Prince Harry, not Prince Andrew, for fuck's sake. Prince Andrew on the mind there, NGT. You all right, mate? You doing okay? If I can find someone I never would have Oops. met otherwise. It's been nearly a year since I caught a stream. Did you hear King Charles is isolating at Balmoral Castle with COVID-19? Prince Andrew is isolating oh, at Windsor with Jenny Forty. <laughs> Coming up, Matt makes a jaw-dropping entrance. That's Prince Harry. It can't Thank be. Thank you, Hugh. I'm not nervous. Prince Harry, Harry Potter, I don't care. And later... It's time to make some decisions. Good when joke Matt to be sends fair. one of these ladies home... I'm going to ask you to leave. A protest to... Oh, he has to eliminate... 
She's not good enough for Prince Harry. It's an ending you won't believe. I'm gonna shank you in your sleep. High drama. 12 American girls, all searching for love, have moved into an English castle to meet an Pete's taken, guy. sorry, Lee's taken an immediate disliking to Leah. What's Leah done? I've not learned the names yet. What's Leah done? Which one's Leah? My name is the white one. And I am from Long Island, New York. We don't have tea parties. No, Adam, he touched me. Prince Andrew I'm touched me. Yeah, all right, now. NGT. Cheers Thank again. Thank you so much. This is so freaking cute. My version of afternoon tea is happy hour. I wonder when we're meeting Prince Charming. I know. My name is Kelly. I grew up in the South, and people have said that like I'm a Southern Belle, which I guess you could say is pretty true. I love this love story about this lucky girl who meets this amazing Prince Charming. I want some carne asada fries so bad. My name's Chelsea. I'm a little off my rocker, you know, but it's it's fine. My dream <laughs> Sorry? Guy, he doesn't necessarily have to be tall, but he has to be handsome, rich, funny. Rich. I'm not really sure if I'm nervous or excited. Still like her, Pete? <laughs> I'm so I'm excited. I'm really nervous. I'm yeah, anxious. thought not. Lee, sorry. Something's happening. Wait, what? Too many people are moving. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, apparently we have secret agents now. Guys, I'm enjoying our afternoon tea, and I noticed some tough guys standing just a little bit after I noticed some tough <laughs> guys standing. Is he? I don't think he looks that tough, to be honest. Uh, not gonna lie, I've seen a lot of ladies that look like these ladies in videos I never managed to finish. I think I see what you're getting at there. Uh, yeah, very good, NGT again. Bunch of tough guys. Just a couple feet away from us, looking like security men. The big reveal. Does anybody suss him immediately? And at first I'm assuming not. And then not from a distance, you wouldn't. Closer. Yeah, he's landing. And closer. What's the difference between Maggie Thatcher and Prince Andrew? I'm not sure, but they both love fucking minors. Oh. And we're like, holy Very good, Chungo. Thank you. Crap. Is this him? Wait, 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 wait. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, it's an alien. Oh, my God. I need some wine. The I told you he's going to have a green entrance. Should have read that one first. Looks like when he gets out. Oh, yeah. no. Our vision works. You would. You would think oh, not not you would in that way. That if you saw that <laughs> in 360p or whatever we're watching at, you would say that bloke there is Prince Harry. Yeah, you would. I think it is. That's Prince Harry. As he got closer and closer. I, hope I really don't sound ignorant saying this, but I don't know what Prince Harry looks like. He's just in the khakis and the white shirt. That's handy. Oh my God. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> the khakis. Oh, that's cute. I love that. I love a man. I already love him already. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Anyone who says this they're off their rocker, but that's fine, is mental. My uncle's ex claimed she was off her rocker, and that ended up with I a mean, coat hanger can't... hitting him in the eye. Good times. Sorry to hear that, Connor. <laughs> the Queen. Fucking hell. The president. Let's keep it light. Come on. Here we go. Thing ever. Michael Jackson. What? My Sorry? Did I... And I don't think he's any one of those. Is that Prince Harry? I don't know. So much for a relaxing oh. He's not in this palace, is he? Unseen by the girls. This way, Our sir. pretend prince sneaks into the master That's suite. Right, isn't it? And here we are, sir. Well done, sir. Oh, it's all right. I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. I'm really excited, but I'm also rather quite nervous. Could you see the girls from the helicopter? No, I had a look That's a little bit too far away to oh. see, but I suspect they were in wonderment. Normally, I only date one girl at a time. I really hope I have what it takes to pull it off. That's a very creepy shot. With Matt tucked away upstairs, the girls gather for a formal announcement. 
tea time was nerve wracking. Things just got really real. Pray now, girls. I'm looking forward to the unveiling. May I have your attention? Hi, Kingsley. This evening, there will be a masquerade ball in the main garden. I am so excited, but there's a lot of pressure because we might be dating Prince Harry. And you will all be able to get to know Sir then. Kingsley, his name's Kingsley. At the end of the evening, one of you will be selected to take up residence in the Crown Suite adjacent to Sir's private rooms, and that lady will be the first to spend some time alone with Sir. Overnight? <laughs> Different room, he said adjacent. Yes, that I cannot say. I hope I have what it takes to be next to somebody with such stature. Fingers crossed. But I must also inform you that tonight... Loopy Leo. I was wondering where I've seen this show before and I just remembered reading an interview with one of the contestants where they said the production team basically gaslighted them into believing it was the real Prince Harry, even hiring a therapist to tell them to stop doubting it. <laughs> yeah, did somebody mention that? I mean, I get, yeah, I did, the whole gaslighting is the whole concept of the show, isn't it? It's pretty batshit. One of you will be leaving us. Americans get so many ads, don't they? Can we kill swans now? Out of interest. Because uh, that, that was the uh, the the queen's animal. <laughs> we, that, no, 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 no. Stick, stick with me here. It was like the, the queen's... Yes, I've killed three. I don't want to. I'm not going to. Full of clember toll, or whatever it was called. Um, but now... It, oh, are they the king's animals now? I don't want to kill any fox. I don't want to kill any animals, but hypothetically, because it what didn't it didn't it amount to treason or is that one of those one of those things which is bullshit? Have we watched the Channel Four astronaut program that pranked the participants? Oh, space cadets. No, that might be one to do. That might be one to do for sure. Um, what if you hunt swans to eat? I've never tried swan. Did you know swans have cocks? Do they? I get the male ones do, or are they called something else? Cygnets, what are cygnets? Is that a male swan? Let's not get bogged down. So ladies, this is a very important occasion. Sir has arranged some presents for you. I just feel like That's a everything baby keeps swan. adding up. I mean, why is Kingsley calling him Sir? Wow, this must be Prince Harry. Thanks. So what's a, what's a male swan called? Oh Amazing oh rooms, God. eh? Tonight's like a big night. We're gonna have an elimination. Cobs. Are they cobs? Anna's gonna be a girl to go to the crown. Geese are not male swans. A, ball. a cob. It's a cob. Sure. Thank you. I don't know what any of those things mean. One of the girls will be asked to leave the castle tonight, and they're all eager to impress. How beautiful! Oh, oh my god! As soon as I get to the rack of dresses and everyone's grabbing things, it seems like all of them definitely know how to make themselves look beautiful, and I'm just very lost. I like What's your beef there. with her, Lee? What's your beef? She seems all right. What she said that really upset you? Consumable Lee. Because she seems she seems all right. I think she's not. Why, why, are you bully, why are you bullying Leah? I'm Leah. I'm intimidating. That's not the... Oh, come on. She was joking about. Red she seems the best one. She's Yeah, she's my favourite too, Urban Munch. I'm with you here. Uh, she's gone. I'm with you. Guaranteed. No. <laughs> I'm Megan. I'm 25 from Dallas, Texas, and I grew up in... She won! <laughs> we are... Oh, spoiler alert! We fucking figured it... We know! It's over! This is how he met her! Unbelievable! In Southern California, I've had boyfriends that do spoil me. I expect that. I'm smart, hot, I cook, I clean, I like banging in a bikini, and I like the finer things in life. I've never had anyone like you. Do you hate her too, Lee? Really? You've never had a boy buy you a dress? I barely had a boy buy yeah. me drive through like, let alone a dress. In New York, you're going to get that same sort of guy. The tat, the swag. I've never had a guy do something for me. Well, girlfriend, welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> I forget about what I want and what I need sometimes. 
I don't care if he's Prince Harry or not. I want a guy that makes me feel special. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I hope this fits. This is magical. This is a really nice show. Just a few feet away. Our this would be ten times better if Mark Jenkins was the butler. <laughs> That's yes, it is, Michael. Pete what Lee. We got ourselves into <laughs> Peter Lee. We should start to uh -huh. get you ready soon. Yeah. Um, I've done the training. I know everything I need to know, but there's still a lot of pressure not to let the tiniest detail slip that will lead them into thinking I'm not Prince Harry. It is mean spirited, but it's magical. Like elimination process? That's, yeah. that's what's making me nervous. I'm Annalisa, I'm 23, and my occupation is Miss Los Angeles. Me and my girlfriends, we were always like, oh my god, you're amazing. Yeah, right, you're so ugly. <laughs> I'm naturally a competitive person. I'll do whatever it takes to get this man, and I'm going to be a princess. All the girls in the house, you're gonna be my bridesmaids. <laughs> I don't usually get nervous before dates or anything like that. Like drinking wine is I not a hobby. I don't care who this guy is. Prince Harry, Harry Potter, uh, I don't care. I can honestly say some, I'm not so, nervous. Somebody's Maybe hobby earlier was helping her mum. So who I'm are you to judge? I'm not worried about myself. I love it. Or you. <laughs> Anyone have jewelry I could borrow? I'm gonna start getting pouty. I'm not pretty. There's a curling iron, there's fake lashes, there's blow dryers. I'm watching girls use bronzer on their chest to make their cleavage bigger. I'm not even sure what bronzer is exactly. Oh, I love her. She is fantastic. Leah, she's just so... I'm fucking nervous about this. <laughs> Should be all right. There's a bra. Leah's kind of... An anomaly that's fine. To me. If I dress Hot tub like streams are alright. Like that's alright. American series, no nudity. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, Oz. You Cheers. I just put on like. <sighs> oh, jeez, calm down. Okay. Come with me and see what I was wearing underneath. At least I've got any. I'm not nervous. Everything's fine. <laughs> that's normal. That's fine as well. Time. It's just another Friday night. Don't drink too much alcohol tonight, sir, just in case you give the game away. No. I'm here because... I'm the the voice really is spot on. If at the end of all this, the girl I choose and the girl that I put it all out there for turns around and says, yes, let's have a go at this, it would have been completely worth it. It's high is budget shit, this, isn't it? Pull off the hoax. Who was it that produced? But what, like, what network was it? Everything that's happened. Has What's the one that does all the shine? The e. To this is it Fox? Moment right now. Have to follow me, sir. That is something else. I'm nervous about meeting the twelve girls. That's it, sir. Stiffen up. I'm hoping Good. they find me attractive and charming and engaging. But what if they don't? Keep the mask on the whole time. Is. Might get away with it. Coming up. The girls start grilling Matt for answers. So is this your estate? How old are you, sir? Are you a wild guy? Is polo your favorite sport? Can he keep Easy his answers, though. Or will he crack he's, under he's the study. pressure? I feel like I could play this at any point. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the only people who have said that it's Prince Harry are the women. Kingsley hasn't said Harry. Yeah, they gaslighted to perfection, didn't they? They gave him a glimpse from a distance, so it's already in their minds that it's definitely Prince Harry. And then... Kingsley being all discreet about it. NGT, so if you zoomed in on Basher's boxes and rewatched it, I didn't fucking do that. What a load of shit. But you failed to zoom in on it. Right, the fuck off. Comna, uh, let's see him shag one of them behind a pub in a field, then call his family racist and then write a book. Uh, Ash, this should be narrated by R. Graham. <laughs> what a blind day. I agree. I agree. God rest his dead soul. He died recently, didn't he? Died last year, I think. Everything that's happened has all been in the build-up to this moment right now. I can follow me, sir. That is something else. Can I actually talk the talk? You know, go out and do it and walk the walk. This is real now. This is where it all begins. It's the moment of truth. 
But will these girls fall for this royal ruse? Good evening, ladies. Would you please walk down the red carpet and present yourselves to Sir? Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's him. It would be really, really freaking crazy if this is Prince Harry. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. You look wonderful tonight. Thank you so much. Good start. What's your names? Maggie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. He has these beautiful piercing blue eyes. He's, he's hot. I'm Carly. Nice to meet you, Carly. My name is Carly Marie Hawkins. I'm 24 years old. I don't know what Prince Harry's looking for, but the fact that I'm intelligent sets me apart. I am currently oh, a pre-med student nice. pursuing cell and molecular biology, and I have a 4.0 GPA. Oh my gosh. May I? Yep. Oh, sorry. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> How are you doing? 4.0 GPA is the highest, right? Grade point average. I only know it from TV and films. It's great to meet you. You look wonderful yeah, tonight. Okay. That is a Thank stunning so mask. I noticed a British accent and I'm like, oh my God. I'm thinking like, this guy could be Prince Harry and what am I doing here? Thank you so Enjoy the party and I'll be with you shortly. Great. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Megan. Mm, nice pleasure. to meet you. I feel like I've seen enough pictures in my life of Harry, and I don't think it is him. Straight in there. That's why they ended up together. She sussed him out and and fell in love with, with Matt, not Harry. She knows. Straight in there. Straight in there. Well done, Megan. I'd like to be. <laughs> How do you do? Make your way through, try not to get burned. I will try not to. <laughs> there was definitely something intriguing about meeting him like that. It's so overwhelming. I mean, there's fire breathing dragons. <laughs> that's that's not a dragon, that's just a bloke. <laughs> I'm trying not to focus on some of the silly things that are being said, but fire, fire breathing dragons. I mean, there's fire breathing let's dragons. Just, let's just. Take a screen. They're, that's not necessarily a dragon. I can't. I don't know how to zoom in. <laughs> I, I think she might be fooled into thinking that it's Prince Harry if she thinks that's a dragon. <laughs> that was exciting. Hi. Tomato, tomato, eh? How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm Leah. Leah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. He gives me a kiss on the cheek, something that I'm definitely not used to. The guys I'm used to dating just get me drunk and make out with me in the back of the bar. Hi, I'm hey. Karina. Lovely nice to meet you, Karina. You. The girls, they're coming out two by two. I'm all a flutter. I'm Jacqueline. I'm Rose. Rose, what a pleasure. I have to... Yeah, Leah's the... Leah's... And that's a lot of pressure. Leah is our queen. Chelsea. I'm I Andrea. agree. Andrea, what a pleasure. Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian. I'm 25. I've never been to a masquerade ball before. I just haven't had the best of luck with the guys I date from East Texas. The most romantic date I've ever been on. We went to the casino. That's about as romantic as it gets in East Texas. Yay! We met first! <laughs> We're all here. Did you get his name, Dre? No, I did not. No. I was so nervous. I barely remember a single name. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it's fingers crossed. At last, it's time for the girls to get to know the man who might be royal. But will Matt be able to pull it off? Good evening. Hello. Hi. How are all of you? The seat looks really good for you right here. Does it now? <laughs> What's your name? Well, that is for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, really? I don't want to lie outright, so... So he's never going to say his name. It's not lying if it's just implied the whole way through that it's Prince Harry. <laughs> yeah, if he fucked up straight away. Oh, it's Matt. Oh, fucking hell. Muzu. Muzu. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome. Brand new subscriber. The strategy is deflection. Say his name. I'm going to play the part of the mysterious man. So what would you like us to call you? Anything you like will do for now. Oh, he's charming, isn't he? Is he's charming. <laughs> we nicknamed you Boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah. That's very premature. <laughs> <laughs> They're all vacious and just loud and 
exuberance, so much energy, and I think engaging 12 girls and trying to make them all like you is damn near impossible. Doing that whilst being someone else is ridiculous. What would you prefer? <laughs> Boyfriend, sir, master. Like, what would you prefer? Mm. <laughs> master? We all sort of just, like, bombard him with questions. So is this your estate? How old are you, sir? Are you a wild guy? Is polo your favorite sport? So where are you originally from here in the UK? They're just going bang, 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 bang. I feel like I could play this at any point, and that's a lot of pressure. So where's all your family? Buckingham Palace, sir? <laughs> Crikey, what the hell have I got myself into? A masquerade ball and an opportunity for the girls to impress the pretend prince. Annalisa, oh, that's a lovely thing. <laughs> Tonight, the first night, I get to meet all the girls. Naturally, they want to know who are they going to be trying to impress for the next however many weeks. Have you been to Vegas? What I makes don't. you say that? You kind of look like Harry, so. Like who? Prince Harry. Really? Yeah, just no a little. No one's ever said that before. No. No, no. Maybe it's the math. I don't have to give too many details away. For now, I feel like I can be a proper gentleman and, you know, You're not a proper, cheeky come on. and charming side of my own character come through. What do you guys think he looks like? I looked at him and I was like, is that Prince Harry? I don't know. I thought it was <laughs> Prince Harry at first, too. <laughs> I hear a few whispers and I hear Prince Harry thrown in there. Rumor spread very quickly. I can really give this a good shot and persuade all the girls that I am Prince Harry. I love your accent. Do you? Yes. Yeah, we all the US girls find a British accent. Mm -hmm. I've heard this and yeah. it, it's actually yeah, true. Yeah, immediate turn on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Most, it's not, a, a British accent <laughs> it encompasses so many different accents. Like, so, sorry, but... This is a British accent. Nothing, guys, how you doing? Back on the road again. Hey, <laughs> and it is 2023. All right, I am ready to... It's not... <laughs> It's not a thing. That, that is sexy. That is sexy, to be fair. How did you know that? Rose catches my eye. She's sort of a bit coy, but with the flirty side. Thank you. OK. Oh, my god. He pulls me aside for a little one-on-one, -on -one, and I am confident I can talk to this guy. Just don't pee my pants. I'll be fine. Nice, well, I've got you. Fucked yeah. it. Yes, knight in shining like armor. That. He catches me and like, this is a fairy tale beginning. <gasps> you okay there? I'm okay. Yeah. That could have gone extremely wrong, couldn't it? But I think it, it went <laughs> a little bit nice. How's your dating career to date? I don't do well, I always... You've done really well so well, far. Well, with you, I mean, I figured I can't pick him. That's the other thing about American girls, volume. <laughs> They probably heard you in the next town, but we're cool. Well, I, well, oh, I fucking hell, mate. Hearing, so you got no, it really. No, you've got a very good point there. <laughs> you have voice and American girls don't seem to have inside voices at all. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Friendos, welcome. We're doing something American today. It's not number jacks quite yet. Welcome, Stephen Larson fans. It's lovely to see you all. Thank you very, very much for being here. We're watching an American show called I Want to Marry Harry, in which, um, what was it, 12? Was it a dozen? Several women are tricked into thinking that they have a, a chance of dating and potentially marrying Prince Harry. It's a bit of a fucking weird one. NGT, right, I can't remember the basher clip, so I need your chat's help. We all remember that very... No, it, it didn't. Oh, my God, NGT. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, Spud Guns um, summarised it quite nicely there. Fox gas gaslights women. Standard reality TV. Correct. They're hello, everybody. Yes, hello, Stephen Larson fans. Re they're really forward. Very nice to have you. And thank you very much. I, I raided. I think I raided last week, was it? And bloody... Stephen Larson were just finishing up. The timings never quite match up. I feel like I'm not giving enough back. Steve Larson, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm on the Oliver Yo. Oh, madam, <laughs> how about that? 
American girls aren't shy in being forward, are they? You know what? Please, can you put that Geordie Garlic and Chips video on? I fucking did, is a classic line. I have no idea what you're talking about, Bobby. No idea what you mean, mate. Sorry. It's all about aggressive, if, if yeah. you like it. Well, no. English girls are very different. Really? Mm, slightly more reserved, I think, okay. and conservative. This is going to be great. Attraction there. We're she seems nice. Go. Did you have an enjoyable time? Oh, my goodness. He is a good one. He certainly is, miss. Leah that again, is. if you didn't Leah, remember. here we go. Yes. Yes. This is the one. This is the one. Leah, she's extremely tall and beautiful and elegant. Are you ready? Yes. You sure? Okay. Firm grip. Sure. <laughs> right, so I'm going to lead the way. Okay, go for it. He's charming, well-mannered. I mean, man obviously knows how to dance, which is always a plus, and, you know, makes you feel like you're the only girl in the room. Not in a room. Mm -hmm. That might have been your turn. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I can't feel anything on these shoes. You're fine. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I'm trying to count in my head. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm definitely I wouldn't stand a fucking chance doing that. Of myself. How are you with a, a spin, if I twirl you? Oh, I'm okay with it. Yeah, so if we go back there. Oh, Ooh. was that me or you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think with that we should probably give you another lady to dance with because I'm just... You're going to stop already? But I feel like I'm just messing it up right now. She's not keen. Leah didn't look like she was having that much fun, which was a shame. Good. I, I mean, that makes me like Leah more because look at him. He's rubbish. What's this? That's a cosmopolitan. I will have the cosmopolitan. Come on. She's got another one already. <laughs> guys, are we doing a cocktail count on Maggie? <laughs> Out of all the girls Maggie has, Martini, a problem of controlling her consumption of alcohol. My family loves to drink. I love to drink. We enjoy it. I probably should pace myself a little bit. <laughs> As if it wasn't exploitative enough. They've got an alcoholic on. Fuck. We might not continue this next week, you know. <laughs> I've only had two. My next one's going to be... Uh, Mikey! Mikey do! Thank you very much. Welcome Maggie to Mikey's Raiders so also. And that's not royal. Give me another porn star, baby. Another cosmopolitan star. This is my... This is my fifth. Very, very high. Right? Whatever. Yeah! Holy f What was that? Very loud, aren't they, Americans? <laughs> Racist. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Where are you from again? New York. Okay. Try not to pick up a New York accent. No, is that You not... don't want to say, like, my dog is here. My dog. I'm going to go coffee. for coffee. Coffee. You got I'm walking here. Some coffee here. <laughs> I think the New York accent is great. He's like a normal guy. Big fan. He's cracking jokes, and he's a lot more of my type than I would have imagined. I think this is the he's first He's just in character. I know. I, saw, I told you I'm buying into the kayfabe here. Masks, uh, Help me out. Kim is... A little ray of sunshine. Do you want to... <laughs> you get... okay. I have big heels. feet, so I'm usually pretty good at, yeah. at walking. They come in handy for something. <laughs> and you are from... Dallas, Texas. Southern? Yes. I love the Southern accent. Megan, she's got a very cheeky smile, a twinkle in her eyes, and looks absolutely stunning. And she caught my eye instantly. It's quite the dapper mask you picked up for something. Hello, I'm Ian. Thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Brand new sub there. Cheers. So what do you do? Uh, this and that. We'll have to save that for another time. Another time. Hopefully, we can find <laughs> out some more later. Well, hopefully, if you stick around for a while. I play it on it. <laughs> it's hard to tell anything with the mask. So he's voting one off at the end of this as well. Good eye contact tonight. It's been a magical evening. I'm not saying Trump. even Americans didn't like the show, but after the highest viewership of 1.04 million and after only four episodes, it was pulled from Fox to move to Hulu for the rest of the run. Also, the reported therapist was actually just a member of the production crew. Oh, fucking hell, that's even worse. Fucking. Is it worse? I don't know. It's all bad, isn't it? Midnight. Fuck me. Time for the girls and Matt to unmask. <gasps> oh, they're going to see him without the mask on. Make him stand another 20 foot back. You might get away with it for Take another episode. It's nerve wracking because all the other girls were like supermodels and I'm not. So it's like, well, he liked the way that I look. She's got a lovely accent. So now, ladies, if you would like to unmask yourselves.
Oh, not keen. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't look happy with any of this. Oh, is she beautiful? I love Leah. Lovely Leah. Wow, they are 12 fantastic women who are frankly all beautiful and way out of my league. It does make me nervous and on edge. I can really feel my heart beating. One of these girls could be the one. Your Sir, turn, mate. It's time to unmask. I mean, I'm nervous. The only thing you can't see is his fucking forehead and cheeks. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you nervous? What does that mean? The Mao he got Pachiti face. What the fuck does that mean? What does that fucking mean? What's Pachiti face? You fucking asshole. What does that mean? Ha! What? And they might look at me and think, oh, this Not clearly isn't that. Prince Harry. Pachiti face. Like Will that be enough? We'll just have to wait and find out. Tension's unbearable. As the clock strikes midnight, there's one last reveal. Could this fairy tale be over before it begins? It's Any of you seen the menu yet? I watched the menu the other day. Fucking, it's so good. I love Rafe Fines. I can't pronounce his name. It's just Ralph, isn't it? Really good. Really good. Fuck all like him. She's conf- Oh, no! <laughs> That's the look of somebody who thinks they've just seen a prince right there. It is him. It looks it fucking nothing like him. With... Prince Harry, the ultimate Prince Charming. No! To be that girl. Oh my gosh. Birthday, Prince Harry. Sir, you need to come with me now. Wait. This way, please, sir. You need to come with me That's now. An important decision to make. Andrew's been nicked again. Dun, dun, dun. Royal duty. Do you think anyone suspects that you. Pachiti are... face in full effect. Fuck off! I don't know what that means, and I don't like it. Him. At the end, when I took my mask off, there were a few hushed comments. So we shall have to see. So eliminate so, the ones that doubt, I guess. Decisions. Who could be moving into the crown suite, sir? And then Leah, who Leah, would you like Leah. To send home this evening. I think Megan stood Megan. out the most. She was sort of quite sure of herself and confident. Yes, good. She had naughty come to bed eyes. <laughs> oh, Rose fucking caught hell. My eye. She was quite coy, but also quite flirty. And I don't know if there was that chemistry. Look at this, Pete she backtracking. Me. For the record, I like Leah. I just think she's the first. You hate her. She flirt back as much. Because she's American. <laughs> you hate Americans, Lee. Leah. Leah. Oh, yeah. I think her dancing was worse than mine. <laughs> But uh, she was stunning, really stunning. She had, a, she had a glint in her eye, shall we say. Are you ready to break the news, sir? Mm -hmm. I'll go and get them now. Okay, right, he's keen on Leah there, right? This evening, one of you will be elevated to the Crown Suite. And unfortunately, one of you will be leaving the estate tonight. We will miss Leah. Please go to the drawing room. Okay. Oh, they're going to drag this out for the last ten fucking minutes, aren't they? And Miss Rose. Oh no! Leah's gone. Lee was right. Oh no. He was just bigging her up on me. You fucking jinx this, Lee, you shit. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to connect with. We're very on opposite ends of the He spectrum. liked Rose. He Leah liked Rose. Tall, gorgeous, dry sense of humor. Good she got I'm out. No, that's fair point. Rose. Hello. Hi. So how are you? What is he looking for? 
I hope that we made enough of a connection while we were watching. No, because she didn't like the dance. I think oh. we're going to have a good time together, so I'm definitely hoping to stay in the mansion. So, I don't feel I got to know you as well as I could have done. However, we did share a lovely first dance. <laughs> Hopefully no one was looking too closely at our feet. <laughs> Initially, you did catch my eye. I but... got to have that small chat with you. And that was lovely. But then you were quite lovely. Yes! Loud? Loud. Or slightly brazen. You were one of the first girls mm -hmm. I got to speak to. Um, I don't know if there was that chemistry. I don't know. It's a hard, it's a yeah. hard one to do. I understand completely. Um, you know, I've got a really tricky decision to make tonight. And so I had to. It's wait annoying how into this I am. I've come to the conclusion. And I think. I think that tonight. Come on. I'm going to ask you. to leave. Me. Oh my god, Pete, you <laughs> motherfucker! It's been lovely to get to know you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Lee, you motherfucker. A girl Everybody fucking boo Lee. Yeah, unfair, boo. The show's Liam. over. She didn't look like she was having that much boo, you see that? It's all for you there. It's an exciting Lee. And that is your real name. Her. That's not really the sort of girl I'm looking for. I just, I had a feeling that I was going to be leaving. I don't think there is a strategy for chemistry. It's either there, it's not. Oh, bless I mean, you, Leah. I was myself, and that's all I really can do. Nice, into the My black cab. My fairy tale's probably not over. It's just gonna be a little less fancy than this. There's a Prince Charming out there for me, but it's just not Prince Harry. She does. She deserves better than somebody pretending to be Prince Harry. You're completely right, Magsy. I think that tonight... I would like you to move into the crown suite. <gasps> Honey, thank you. Oh my god. If gosh. you would accept. Yeah, thank you. When my new boyfriend gives me the key to the crown suite. My new it boyfriend. Makes it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel so Begarish. happy that he felt out of all the girls we we're on the same page. Fuck you, Lee. Thank you, Comna. I feel like I have died and gone to fairy tale heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I really like Leah a lot. I feel like she is just a genuine girl. Yeah. There's absolutely no about her. No, absolutely. Yeah, I, was like, what you yeah, I like agree. Him. Now she has to live in a taxi. I guess um, he wanted to spend a little more time with me tonight. <laughs> the way Rose comes Ooh. into the room tonight, it's just so fake. It is she's fake. so happy that she's going to oh. go in the crown seat. <laughs> I'd like to thank <laughs> the, the Academy best. and my parents. Like, calm. Oh, he but pulled it out of his jacket pocket, and I was like... <laughs> I feel like Rose is not good enough for Prince Harry, but... What we're all wondering is, what did she do that others didn't do that made her get chosen? I'll do some reconnaissance for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll come back tomorrow with some, some answers. Work it, girl, work it. Even though they're, like, smiling at me, their face is saying, how was it? You know, their eyes are saying... I'm gonna shank you in your sleep. Good night, girl. There has been a slight change in what's going on here. The competition has set in. I've been kind of named as a front runner now, and this might be a double-edged sword. Keep well. your panties on. Fine. Oh. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I wanna marry Harry. <laughs> I think if you want to watch the rest, you might have to do it in your own time. Because there's eight episodes, which I didn't realise. 
Uh, it was a moral victory for our Leah. I bet she'll love the Premier and she'll be staying in before her 6.30 flight back to the States. <laughs> poor, poor woman. Poor woman. Uh, so, if you, yeah, if you want to watch it, crack on. Um, but I'm not sure I can deal with eight whole episodes of, or seven more episodes of that. That was bonkers. Don't too, talk too much shit about American TV because that Butlins dot was shit. You weren't paying attention. There was more drama in that. You just, you didn't understand, Lee. You didn't understand. Uh, may, maybe we skipped to the last episode or something. Anyway, next week, Kay's good cooking. Or Kay, she, she scrapped the good. I actually, she covers this in the Q&A. She scrapped the good cooking for the obvious reason, because her cooking wasn't good. She said she had five shit meals in a row. I'd love to see the one that saved it. She had five shit meals in a row. And so she went, Oh, I can't be I can't be Kay's good cooking anymore. I'm just I'm just Kay's cooking. So we're gonna be watching the QA uh from Kay next week, as well as some other things to be announced. There was something else, and I can't remember what it was. Maybe some more um Wheel of Fortune in the not too distant future. Because I like that. I like that an awful lot. Um I'm trying to viewers low to high they've they've added a viewers low to high thing if i can if i can refine this by just chatting oh my god look at this no you can only view as fucking high to low on that there is a way now of sorting it was there it's disappeared it's fucking it's disappeared what's going on viewers low to high don't watch me there's somebody doing red dead there i'm looking for somebody Streaming with their camera on. Going all crazy 2020 follow-up. Fortnite. Looking for an English speaker here. Otherwise, I don't think many people will know what's going on. Uh, so there's a lot of people with zero viewers who we should who we should raid. Um, garlic and chips. It's a minute long. Alright, alright. Garlic and chips it. One second. What do I do? Search garlic and chips. Just a reminder: tomorrow, um, after Jack and Owen's stream, do come and check us out on Jack's stream. It's all for Mind, which consumable Lee uh, doesn't support, unfortunately, because he's he's a uh, just just doesn't like things that are good. Um, but a gamer called Jack is the is the uh, is the channel. Garlic and chips. Is this it? Minute long, garlic and chips. Lee does support mine. It's a very nice charity. Is this it? Hey, pop your head further closer. Hey, comfortable there. Yeah. What's your name? Michael the Jokeson. You're fucking mad, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> You're proper <laughs> off your tits, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What have you had for your tea? Garlic and chips. You can fucking smell it. <laughs> Do you know what I ate all? I got two, like, quids worth of garlic. Yeah. Yeah, like one fifty is the garlic and chips. Yeah. And I got extra fifty worth of garlic. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Did you fuck? Oh, I fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you fuck? Oh, I fucking did. This is Britain. <laughs> did you fucking lie in bastard? I fucking did. Go and ask. With us if you fucking don't believe us. <laughs> I believe you. I'm only winding up, son. Yeah, I've been told you're the fucking best on a fucking pedal bike at down stunts and that. I fucking did. No, you're the best <laughs> at fucking pulling stunts on your pedal bike. Where are? I haven't been doing stunts. Your daddy said to me that you know the. F right, cheers for that, mate. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> that's a thing. I fucking did. Uh, I'm I'm trying here. I'm trying to find. Somebody with zilch viewers. It's quite difficult to find because there's so, so many um, that aren't in aren't in English. Stick with us. It's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. Overwatch. This bloke. Let's have a look at him. What do you reckon? Oh, I'm in point. Nah. Next, um, hello there. Yes. We found our guy. Nice. 
Oh, we have to the car meets. That's quite a trick for the car meets. He's fun. got the green screen on, sort of. It's a good few hundred mile. Well, not that. Do you know him? Hi. Whatever. Uh, it's intended for mature audiences only. This is this is who we're raiding. I want to go and make some dinner. All the best. He, yeah, he likes real big fish. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. See you next Tuesday. Take care of yourselves in a bit. I'll see you tomorrow if you want to pop along. A game of cool jokes in the announcement there. Cheers for doing that, by the way, Pete. Much appreciated. Take care. All the best. <laughs> Goodbye. How do I do this? Why can't I, won't let me fucking raid. Because the, the announcement's in the fucking way. <laughs> Pete. Uh, hide for yourself. There you go. Raid. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs>